I would hate for us to miss any more of Rory's little funny, <laughs> funny little one-liners. He was I saw in your scene from LA Daredevil. working on. Oh, was it like, wasn't my scene. It wasn't. I saw the, the scene audition as well. tape. You have? <laughs> I wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> What'd you think when you saw it? I thought Joe would have been great in this <laughs> position. And would you would you have to spot somebody? Whoa, hey, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why is Parks thinking about me in different <laughs> positions? <laughs> All right, enough of you. Ah. Uh, the queen. So phony. Salute. <laughs> yeah, now it's salute. salute. Going out, right? Salute. That niggas is corny. She man. used to be scorned. Now it's salute. Maul. We ain't played a Jill Scott record in <laughs> two and a half years, B. Now all of a sudden it's air horns. Air horns. It's yeah. all types of shit going on on the Jill Scott record now, huh? Yeah. yeah how okay. convenient. Get y'all shit off, okay? Yeah. If you shut the fuck up. I'm chilling, bro. The queen. <laughs> Look how fast it turns into the queen. <laughs> Salute to a goddess. Yeah. Oh, man. My shit moved. <laughs> it did. What do you want me to do, man? I'm listening to the record. Bro. And so. Oh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ad libs are gross. I can hear all her, yep. all her songs like I get it now for real. Like, you don't get this better now a little bit? You ain't get it before? Yeah, but before it was more so the nigga left. She was pretty sad about it. Now I'm here, and I think he was sad, too. Now, now you're I think he was some weird kind of going through it himself. And not living his life. Like yeah, golden. it wasn't gold in my G. Golden. Nah, my guy. <laughs> Maul is, Maul is hating for some reason. Maul has this wasn't anything. jamming on Fordham, I guess. What you mean? Who is Jill Scott now that we have this bit of information? Maul is all there, in my vibe over here. Is there a way we could pay attention to her, uh, her streams this week? <laughs> I want to make, make a point. Nah, it's the vibe I'm on. I'm on my, you know what I mean? This the vibe Jill Scott got me on, Maul. Tweet? So now, <laughs> no, call me. Oh. Told Ian to hit Jill Scott immediately. Let's see if we can get her on the line. She didn't hit back. <laughs> I'm sure her phone is blowing up right <laughs> now. More busy than usual. Y'all don't have more of res- no. All right, no. Maul. You know what? Hold up. You, no. Do you think it was in rehearsals? Or do you think that was like an in the moment thing? No, nah, that's natural. That's Mic nice. check, one, two, oh. one, two. Microphone check, one, one, one. Can you imagine being the sound guy during sound check, just you and Jill Scott? No, Jill, bad. While she's deep no, the microphone. Well, we that sounds great, Jill. <laughs> Closely, no, we can't hear you. De- need to run it again. Close to 200 <laughs> episodes, and these idiots just still talk over all the drops. Like, y'all talk over even your own drop. I'm trying to promo y'all. It's all right. Fuck. No, well, we are not. That really did it. <laughs> the whole world knows. The now. whole world knows. Yeah, yeah that's they heard the drop. Yeah, I need security really now. What, what episode? What episode? Do we know you needed security a few weeks ago, Rory. Not now. <laughs> when did I need security? When they was pressing you in L.A. What D.C. D.C. You ain't been back to D.C. since. Mm. Mm. All fucking <laughs> week you've been talking about that <laughs> drive by. <laughs> Didn't it? And ain't did nothing but drive by, Rory. That's crazy. Mm. Listen, what episode is this? Thank you, Savon. Episode 196 of the Joe Budden Podcast, which means we are pretty delayed in thinking of something special to do for the 200th episode. <laughs> God damn. That's, yeah. that's like close now. Spotify needs fucking double ups when they thought we wouldn't succeed. Mm. <laughs> now, now we have execs in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the hood. <laughs> execs in Park's kitchen. Ain't even a microwave in that bitch. No. And a, an exec is in she there. She walked in like, wait, <laughs> this is it? <laughs> she walked in with more questions, too. Like, uh, how much was your microphone set up? <laughs> Don't worry about it, honey. It's not a Fisher Price setup over here. Uh, episode 196 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your esteemed host, Joe Budden, here with some of my f- nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Savon is here. Rory is here. And Erickson is here. Uh, if I sound a little under the weather, please excuse me or don't. I don't give a fuck. Uh, shout out to the YouTube viewership. Shout out to everyone in the Spotify community. Shout out to all the hedge fund people, our mature audience, our immature audience, and everyone listening from their work cubicle or at home while you're not applying for a job. Wow. 
Jeez. Look what execs <laughs> in the kitchen do. I was going to say, look what a little driving class does you covered to somebody all the demos. over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot, a lot of time to think. Yeah, Park, don't say demos again. <laughs> I covered all the demos. Is and, that our demo? you called yourself esteemed. Word. I got some esteem. You got, you got some, some steam. steam? <laughs> Ever since I stopped rapping. I have but some we're esteem. not esteemed, apparently. That's fucked up. That's because huh? we talk over we're the drops. We're not esteemed, apparently. Y'all are not esteemed Damn. at all. <laughs> but that's why it works. Okay. Ma, I went home last week and thought about all the lies you tell in the podcast, right? Because <laughs> I was feeling a way that I, you kind of- I sit here and st- listen to you lie every week. I don't have to go home to <laughs> Word. I know, but you're doing what sin does. Right now, we're talking about what I want to talk about. And when I'm done, you can address all your now concerns. you're doing what Joe does. <laughs> <laughs> what does Joe do? That. 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 <laughs> what? Address his concerns? Oh, here we go. Sure. All right, we don't have time for that right now. <laughs> yeah. Mom, last, last week, last week, you know, and we should start a segment where we just correct errors. Last week, you said, nah, no, you, fun in that. you shouldn't fight over no girl. No, that's not what I said. I said, if you if you your ex girls with a dude, you can't run up to the dude and fight the dude. Oh, uh, you put little new words in there. That's now. not it. Was no new <laughs> words. That's exactly new words. Well, 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 guess what? I don't care. In my story, <laughs> I went home and thought of you almost wanting to fight a dude over a girl, and she wasn't your girl, so that makes it worse. No, I wanted to fight a dude for talking. Putting, keeping my name in his mouth. Which goes to my point last week that Ooh. you don't fight a dude over a girl. You fight a dude over. You already know what time it is with me. <laughs> That's not Stop. you're not making it, you're not making any Stop sense. Stop playing with me. I'm I'm what I was good at it, what I was had an issue with. I was there you when you saying, took the watch off, I my didn't G. I didn't take anything off. I was never <laughs> around to do anything. I was just telling somebody to stop talking to a woman about me. If you like this woman, you like it. You don't got to bring what, my name what up. What did the what gentleman did, say about you? I don't know what he said. He, he said, fuck you, what you going to do, chump? Nah, that's not what he said. <laughs> and then I, Maul took his watch was, off, walked to the trunk. I then walked back to the trunk with Maul. I was like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one too. Wait, is there something I don't know about? Because you know guys don't tell each other what's going on. No, of course that's true. So why is Maul at the trunk taking his watch off? Uh, <laughs> that just Maul, looks strange. Maul wasn't doing <laughs> Like, we were supposed to be having a good time. I didn't like, yo, Maul, you good, my G? Took the Cuban off. Nah, man, enough is enough. like, you want to go to jail out here? <laughs> I'm always, the, you I'm do always a friend. About that. Yo, I didn't do any. I don't know. Yeah, I know. You never I know. None you never know. Happened. None of this took place. I, it by took the way. me a while just to remember. Same way you was there for a lot of my shit. I was there for yours too, my guy. Yeah, but mm. what my mm. that situation and what we were talking about is two totally different things. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I you got wanted my, to fight a dude for being with it. Seeing him out with your ex? No, come on, don't do that. That's what you, don't that's do what that. you said. That, that, no, don't do that. I don't do that. Nah, now. He it's said nasty she, now. He was playing. Don't do that. It's we nasty. We have to now keep it's up nasty. Public appearances. So I get it. Like that. That's why I was like, no, you never no, step to the guy. Mom, you I never step to the guy. I wanted to fight homeboy because of how he was treating me. I don't care about who you fucking. How was he treating you though? We never got into that in a hurtful manner. Because he was with your ex? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Who cares about that? It's never the girl. So that's what I'm trying to understand. I didn't understand what you were saying. I didn't take my watch off. I didn't take mine off either. I didn't actually. I didn't do anything. All right, I oh, got, I got like, we got mad shit to get into, so okay, I don't have time to, 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 to stay just, here right oh, this boy, second. Just don't make that picture of me as well. Uh, <laughs> all right, my bad, my bad. So uh, I Back brought, I brought, Scott. I brought my oh. <laughs> the queen. You sold, you sold on that, like you sold. You gonna be that guy? I'm just asking. Oh, here, here comes just, contrarian man. You know, I just want to see where the fellas is at. Like, you what sold? do you mean where the fellas is at? All right, can I just have this talk talk without getting in trouble with my girl? Yeah, we just it's just talk. <laughs> you're not my girl. I gotta call my girl. Oh, my <laughs> I don't, like, just talk, man. We're not saying this is anything. We just having a yeah. But I want to like really talk about it though, and I want to still be at peace at home. Okay. Uh, let me ask. Let me counter with a question. And I didn't know we were starting with this, but I'm cool with that. Well, you played the record, you're, so. you're single, so you could talk. Your top three fellatio performances that you have received, mm-hmm. the weight of these women mm-hmm. was what? Oh, no, but I have a theory that thicker women give great fellatio. So then you're rolling with us. No, no, no. But <laughs> so I, don't, why, I don't really understand no, 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 your gripe there. No, no, because not that doesn't mean all thick women give great Head? No, 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 all of anything, do right? Everything. So, so I'm just saying because I have a theory, like you know, when you see, whenever you see a dude talk about anything and he's not actually doing, like, example, when dudes start talking about you, how they was looking at the park the other day and they start doing the air moves and all of that, it looked good. Like he, oh, this nigga might be all right. 
But then you get so, into the park. That shit don't look nothing like that when he actually on the so court. So you're saying Jill Scott might be the guy that wears all the headbands and all the dope Nike I'm shit. I'm just saying it looked ball. good. It was it was shocked. It was like, oh, okay, we never seen Jill like that. But it's like, we have to talk to some of the men Jill has been with. That's what we need to talk to. We don't need to get Jill on the phone. We need to get like the her ex on the I'll phone. I'll take that microphone's word for it. Okay. <laughs> Can you I'm just saying I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need more than that. It looked good though. It looked great. Yeah, I get it. She looks like she knew what she. How doing. you going to hate on the airhead? But, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. any woman that when, when takes dudes her do the hands air dribbles, it look good too. <laughs> the air guitar. Too. Oh wait, you yeah, know what? The air guitar. <laughs> wait. Niggas love doing this, and they put a real guitar in their hand. That's they don't true. know what they doing, man. Where's my phone? Listen, man. Any woman that pretends to take it in the face during a concert. I'm gonna, take uh, her, I'm gonna take her word for it. Those be the ones that be. All like, right, so <laughs> all right, everybody. Those be the main word, ones, word, Rory, that be so mad when you get a little on their hair. So, so listen here. Uh, I, you know, I've been. I see this narrative being created as it pertains to our podcast. And today, people don't really go by the context of the English language. So, before we delve further into this Jill Scott conversation, I just want to define what misogynistic is for people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, it sounds like I'm joking, but no, I'm, you're right. I'm not. You're right. It's a, it's, it's because I continue to see people say that we are indeed on this podcast misogynistic, and I don't see that. I don't see it at all. Now people say whatever we're they want. we're four men with additional men in the kitchen, which means <laughs> a lot of times we're gonna say a lot of stupid shit. It doesn't mean we're misogynistic. It means we're stupid men. There's a clear difference there. So, misogynistic. Reflecting or exhibiting hatred, dislike, mistrust, or mistreatment of women. All right, no. No, my mom would kill me, and she listens to this podcast. So, no, that is not, that's not what we do here, and I have to make that clear before this seemingly misogynistic <laughs> Jill Scott conversation <laughs> continues. All right, so back to Jill Scott. Air sucking dick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now that we got hey, that out that's of the what way, she, that's what she was. That's what she was doing. I mean, that's, I mean, that's true. Mean, that's true. Oh my god! What do you want us to do? That's, that's what she was. Doing. I don't hear anything anymore. <laughs> Did you cut my uh, mic off? What's happening? <laughs> fucking afraid now. It's the ghost of Jill. Just the ghost of Jill. Oh, it's the dude. It's the ghost dick. <laughs> the ghost. Wait, she got fucked by the the ghost. <laughs> the ghost Yo, dick. I was happy to know though. Am I still recording? Yeah. I was. Ha I still don't hear shit. Check the uh, this side. Oh, yeah. Duh, there we go. I was happy to know though. To your point earlier, the way the dudes be in the house practicing the like the air jump shot or air dunks. Yeah, air guitar. Like I be yeah the air guitar. I'm super nice at air drums. Mm -hmm. Air drums. I'm glad rapper to know hands. rapper hands. All of these things. Good to know that females ha do have an air or something that they're they're home <laughs> working on. Airhead. And I'm glad they landed on that activity. Yeah, it's the airhead. <laughs> so now I hate to f to feed this uh, old stereotype, but it did bring back the old <laughs> big girls. You know what I mean? Yeah, they 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 get a little more aggressive with it. That made the whole. The whole grits line sound very different too. Mm -hmm. She doing that and making grits. Yeah. Give it up for a queen. <laughs> Hold up, man. I'm in the round of applause. <laughs> I didn't want to start with Jill. I mean, we could talk about Jill later, but Jesus, man. I got a feeling we're gonna revisit Jill all time. Get all, back to all, Jill. All, all episode. Shout out to Jill. <laughs> I love Jill. That was awesome. <laughs> I got to see a Jill Scott show now. I was going to say, is her, she on tour right now? You got to book what? her at Duce. <laughs> <laughs> For the green room. Sorry, Lauren, you need a new trick. That tardy shit won't get it done now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was applying pressure. <laughs> Jill, somehow I, I, I just pitted Jill and Erica Badu against each other <laughs> because Erica has been uh, hypnotizing men for so many years. Famous men, right? She's been hypnotizing and, and luring in. And I always felt like Jill was doing the same thing. She might just not have caught all the famous niggas. Jill was yeah, more maybe. into like some of the hood the niggas. Hood guys, She's yeah. making grits for the hood niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Who else she making grits for? So this whole this whole video that went viral has made me shed some light on some things that I obsess over in my spare time. One being do heavier set women give the best head? 
I know you guys are too pussy to actually answer that. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were done. Yeah, I thought you were with that's, the question. That's one and yeah, that two like and two. <laughs> you know, everyone loves young women. Hmm? Like niggas love to fuck young women. Excuse me. Younger niggas women. love to fuck young women is what I said. When I say young, I'm of of age, of course. I'm not talking. I'm not, not saying any perverse shit. Mm-hmm. But man, women look at, I mean, not women, men look at young chicks like their skin is all intact. <laughs> not so many bumps and yeah. bruises. They bent their shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the skin looks mad soft and inexperienced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And niggas be wanting to fuck. In my brain, though, and this is kind of fucked up because I guess I, I do have a track record of whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about track race. But in my brain, though, in the 90s, some of the chicks that really enjoyed intimacy and sex, like, they got older. And now they're older and they enjoy intimacy and they enjoy sex. And in my mind, in private, I sometimes wonder who wins the the sex battle. Like, is it the young chicks who fool you because they're shaped like elastic or the vets. Or the hard nosed vets. The hard nose vets. The vintage vagina. Seasoned I think, pussy. I think it depends what type of sex you're trying to have. Seas oh man. And a lot has to do with a woman just knowing her body. This is just and, the voice I keep on. <laughs> Some nasty <laughs> shit. <laughs> Take that voice off. <laughs> Wiping me. Sunday night slow jam radio voice. Keep wiping. Nobody wants to keep wiping you. Now Jay. wipe my tongue. <laughs> Can you stop? Wipe his tongue. It's a bad, bad reference. That is a right nasty now. nigga. Can we talk about you? heard the too? girls doing the bad, like, wipe his tongue. <laughs> you better wipe his tongue, sis. Oh, yeah, y'all niggas is nasty. But anyway, I don't know if today we appreciate the vintage vixens the way that we should. Like the 40 to 45 year old women that don't have their. Uh, sexual exploitations on display so much as the young women do. The cougars. The ones that keep it a bit more... Classy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Publicly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause, but that's what we want, though. Yeah. Well, that's my thing. That is what we want. Mm-hmm. So why don't niggas pay more attention to the 40-year-old group Park's girl is young. My girl is young. Rory's girl is young. Savon's girl age. is young. Erickson, do you have a girl? Erickson's like Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Erickson and Maul are just going to ride this podcast thing till the new one shows up. <laughs> Savon keep using the Joe Budden pod Instagram to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That was the pod. <laughs> Ian and Rory have the password too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Savon, you are a nasty nigga. Uh, but off of that, hi, Savon's girl. Everybody's girl. <laughs> off of that. Coming off yeah. of that, hi to Savon's girl. Everybody here, girl, is young. So mm-hmm. it's like. But I think even even though y'all have younger girls. Are niggas scared of the vintage vixens? I, I don't no, think they... it's not a scared thing. It's you can't. When you talk about the vintage vixens, you have to approach the vintage vixens knowing exactly what it is. Like there's no like, games. To I don't play. even know how yeah. to bag Jill. Yeah, Scott. you can't because you can't play no games. You can't At come all. to her with the same. All, all the tricks she used with the young yeah, chicks. Yeah, it's not going to work. work. Yeah. It's not going to work with her. We, but also, I think the older ones kind of already are secure and know what it is. Like, they'll bag you. They'll exploit us. <laughs> no, they'll, they'll, no, like, they'll, they'll uh, have you thinking. Shout out to the chicks that'll take advantage of like, us. Like, they, they'll already <laughs> have in their mind that they're going to fuck you. Yeah, or they'll, they'll have in their mind that they're going to make you think that you're going to have sex with them and... They'll politely let you know that it's not happening. I'll yeah, flirt with you all night. Yeah, that's the difference. Like with the older chicks, like us, us as men have to ruin that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the younger chicks, they're just moody. So it's like, ah, nah, I ain't fucking you on Wednesday. <laughs> the older chicks, you really got to blow it. Right. <laughs> like if they like you, they trying to like you and be into you. Because mm-hmm. they don't have the time. Queen Jill yeah, hit the, Queen Jill hit the two hands move on them, which solved another one of my old myths when Walker put out the no hand song. I didn't understand. Yeah. That was the biggest. That's a bad That was motto. the biggest misconception. And, and he said, look, man. No that hands. was a hip hop. That was a hip hop mystery. 
I was confused as to why Waka Flocka had everyone thinking that head without hands was so great. It's not. At all. I mean, if it's part of your bag and you go back with the hands, I could see remixing it for a second. No, because then you get the chick that's trying to, she's not using hands, so now she's trying to be like a dick gymnast. She's trying to show you she can juggle the, balance the dick properly if she just scrape it a little on, like, no, no, if you stop, if you just use your hand, you you won't be scraping me anymore. Like, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you see I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> like. It's a bad squirm. It's this not a good no, squirm. Uh, yeah, I'm giving, yeah, I'm giving you the, uh. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that, that doesn't mean I'm being pleasured. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do we even end up on this? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the vintage. Oh. No, man. I think the vintage. They, nah, I think they don't. You, appreciate it. Nah, you're not getting no teeth with vintage bay. No. Oh, no, of course not. No. Nah. Vintage Bay take her teeth she out. She scraped the dick since 75. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Vintage Bay will take That's her teeth out. That's super vintage. Yeah, she'll take the teeth out. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> it's wild that I want it. <laughs> you, you notice no one was like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> Everyone kind of thought about it. You'll look, you'll, you'll look over to the left and them things will be right on the nightstand. <laughs> Damn. Hey, listen, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> We're freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you have to say about, about the vintage? Joint? No, but I, I think we all like know Jill that. did it. Queen Jill did it right. Like, she gave us a little bit of the no hands action and gave you the, the you know what I mean? Right back to it. But you know what? Now <laughs> the that two I look, hands. Don't give me one hand when you got two. No, but now that I look then back she at doubled, the video. Then she did the double the, twister. Yeah, yeah, the, but now that, I look, now, now I look oh back at the window. Oh, my God. I love Pepper. Now that I look back at the video, <laughs> she did something in that video that let me know, like, yeah. Talk about when she licked her hand? She licked her hand before she started rubbing. Oh my it was like, God. she knows not to rub dry balls. Yeah. Because rub rubbing dry balls, don't rub my balls while they dry. Rub my balls. They're delicate. Yeah, yeah they, they're sensitive. It's a, it's a you delicate You gotta, gotta lube the balls. Like, lube the balls, and then you can you know, do what you do. But dry balls, that's nah, dry ball. No. Wait, all right, time out. <laughs> all right. You can spit on your hand. Lubricate your hand. When you say lube the balls, <laughs> some niggas really use lube. Like me, and then that's like a really ticklish situation. <laughs> Don't put lube on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick nigga, man. I'm, you said it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, <laughs> why, you it's say, a why is it to the lube tickling you? Like, what is wrong with you, man? It's on my balls. That's tickles. <laughs> when when chicks start using a little bit too much force. Not only because the lube is there now, she's like thinks she's Serena Williams. No, nah, bitch, that's ball there's still. There's a fine line. It's a yeah, ball play. yeah, those are balls. No, there's only one thing I don't. Those like. are balls. The, the, when they when they make the popping sound coming off the balls, don't do that. <laughs> don't do the. I can't do it because I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. But don't ever, there, I'll, yeah, I'll punch there, you in your face. I, nah, I'm, come on, me. You know I'm not doing that. Please, but, my nigga. There, when they make the popping sound coming up, don't do that. Don't do that. It's unnecessary. That yeah. is unnecessary. It doesn't feel good. I don't think no man in the history of the world has ever enjoyed that. Yeah. Niggas are sit through painful head though. <laughs> it's but, happened. Yeah, but you know, popping happened. sounds requires a certain amount of suction that is not. I'm you know welcome. what? I th- I'm cool with the pop as long as you don't highlight it. Like if you could just get right back to work. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like that if you shit, just if you just back up, stomach make hurt, the yeah. pop, turn the lights on, say, Did you hear that? No, 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 no. <laughs> like that. No. I'm cool on that. I can't tolerate that at all. Like no hands head. I mean, that song was great, but and if we got Wale play. came on second, it's like I don't <laughs> think you getting the best head. And if we go back and <laughs> if, if, if we go back and revisit uh, Superhead's tape, her head wasn't that great. Shit, it wasn't. Sorry. Go back and look at it. Go back to de- I did. when it first Today. came out. I understand. <laughs> I understand the shock value. It was a video Mall. chick. That was like the first time we really seen Mall. that type. Go you back and look you, at that shit. That did, shit. Did you see her in Shaq? Listen to what I'm saying. I'm asking that you shit. if you saw her in Shaq. Listen to what I'm telling you, though. That that video might have been of one of the Superhead. only times I was mad. That wasn't like my dick. Nah. <laughs> like, damn, that could be my shit. Nah, it, it, it really wasn't that great. <laughs> fuck is Maul talking about? It wasn't. <laughs> you are bugging. It wasn't that great. It was. It was way too. It was more Maul, hand in head. Who are you seeing? It was more <laughs> hand in head. Who are you seeing today in your life? What do you mean? Like they got you talking to Superhead like that. I'm not. I'm just saying. Like you go back and revisit some things that we thought was like amazing no, you're right and about legendary. That. I'm not. That's rolling. one of the things that I, I, I've seen, and I'm just like, I can't speak to that tape because I haven't seen that shit in 15 years. But go back and look at it. Yeah, I might have to. I'm telling you. Revisit I, the tape. I'm telling you. You're gonna be like, yeah, yeah I get. You gotta it. review it's, the tape. Boots yeah, real. It wasn't that. That super head thing does bring me to uh, like Jadakiss overrated bars, and there's not many of them, but 
Like, why was niggas hype off that? Uh, she, she said gave, she, she was a superhead. <laughs> so we call it superhead that one. <laughs> no, but oh. let's stay there. <laughs> Just moved in the building. Even gave <laughs> the superhead. Super that bitch is a hoe. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why is Jadakiss getting ahead from the bitch to get a super head? <laughs> no, I'm talking about in the beginning to knock yourself out. Well, if she was, in because fact, I, Because Melissa Ford was in the video, but the rumor around that time was that that song was about super head. Mm. So he said, she said her she was a model for a calf. year and a half. Like, yeah. and I know I fell for that line a lot, <laughs> but Kiss shouldn't fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it but it's the second bar. And if she took her hair out, if she took the pins out, then her hair why why were we amazed at hair down to your ass no, back calf. then? That's pretty amazing. It wasn't your hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why, Obviously. Why, but... why is that a big deal? All right, big. Like, cool. Nah, but that's it. it no. I get it. No, I no, get it. I'm not rolling. I get it. I'm not rolling. Shout out to Superhead. Shout out to Queen. Oh, the Queen. Queen Jill. I want to taste Jill Scott Grits. <laughs> I do. You know she make fire yeah, grits. She can cook. You know she does. I'm sure. So somebody that can that can do those movements that way and make grits and sing and and it's like cuddle friendly. Yeah, man. It's a good resume. I'm down. I, like I hate, I hate friendly. when I walk out on the ledge and then you guys. No, I like stare, I'm stare down. I like cuddle parks. friendly. Is- I know you live with your girl. Rory lives with your girl. Come on, man. Be with me. I just said it was a good resume. I, yeah. I know, but say more. <laughs> say, say more. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, say less. Yeah, no, 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 no. Say more. No, say more. Come cap, on, Roy. Cap. Come no, on, cap. give me something. Yeah, because you show me a lot of cap right now. Give me something. Why are you playing one mic when we're talking? <laughs> one time. That's all Jill Scott needed was I'm one so mic. Yeah. That's all she needed. That's all I need. <laughs> Yo, all I need is one mic. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't, uh, this is a wild don't song to mic. moan over. Wait. <laughs> nah, I sound like he was moaning. <laughs> nah, I sound like one Jill. I'm like, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. What, nigga? This was about Superhead as well. <laughs> Be surprised you, how many records were actually Revisit about Superhead. Revisit that Superhead Nas was in that Superhead book. He was. I'm snitching. No, she no. did. <laughs> Was that the first tell all? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's how Jill remixed that. <laughs> she did. She, she remixed it. <laughs> this is her song now. It's not even Royce. Oh, man. I don't have anything else to say about it. I'm already in trouble. Yeah. It's good yeah. trouble, though. And the, the the fans might kill us and, and call then, us misogynistic for this. I'm tired of them. And then Sim woke up to me. Why is everybody talking about Jill Scott? And then I pulled the video up and tried to downplay it. <laughs> mistake, like, yeah, why are they mistake talking about one. That? Yeah. I was like, this shit she did right here is trash, right? <laughs> it ain't even. Yeah, you know I mean, she don't be. <laughs> <laughs> she, don't, she don't put Where? it down like you. Yeah, niggas is so niggas. Is shit. <laughs> like, oh, two hands. Who even likes two Nigga hands? Joe start playing his old shit. She don't put it down like you. She don't put it down. Put it down. Down, down. I feel like I should get more credit for that song. She don't put it down. Like Why you. niggas just skip over this song? This is a great song. Yeah, definitely. Well, you hate it. I'm more, you like more of my music than you I let on to. No, 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 Yo, no. It should always work. No. What you want me to say? What you want me to say? You want me to rap to it? Just, just play it on your curve TV. I don't know. <laughs> Put it on your IG story. Oh, now she don't ever stress me. Fuck you, niggas, man. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> they, play, they played that on the radio. I had a career. I, don't, I, don't think, I, I, I made some noise out there. <laughs> some noise. Some noise. <laughs> Rappers, I, I made some noise. I didn't there. make no noise. No, you made noise. <laughs> a little bit. That ad lib sound was noise. I bothered the frequency Rap, rap a little legend. Bit. Yeah. According to whatever website that was. Rory. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, I'm fighting my mixtape legend claim. Why are you fighting it? No, that's the one I'm fighting. We can make jokes. Fighting for it. Got you. Yeah, I don't think no, nobody would. Niggas can make that's easy niggas fight. can make yeah. their their rap legend jokes. Fine, clown me. I'm not a rap legend. I'm claiming mixtape legend. I don't think that's a hard I, fight. Uh, though. Just shut up. Okay. <laughs> Vintage pussy or young pussy for you? Vintage. You front. You cap. That's cap. First no, of all, young vintage. pussy can become vintage. 
Think, I'm not think, waiting think 20 more years more. for India Love to grow up. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the that's fuck gross. is Rory talking about? You niggas is nasty. Hey, and you rapper niggas that's liking these 18 year old girls' pics, you niggas is nasty. I see y'all. They cute, but I see y'all. Y'all are nasty niggas. Y'all could be their uncles, you nasty fucks. Yeah. I, yeah, I'd be scared to hit the explore page. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going next to your, to your Scott show. Fuck you, niggas. Me too. <laughs> Me and Sin. Me and whoever. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, so I had a very eventful weekend, man. I took my defensive driving class Saturday morning. I know you guys don't care about this stuff. But, you know, I went there. You know, you got to just listen to God in the universe sometimes. I went there and I had an attitude that I had to go. But once I got there, boy, was I glad I was there to save the world from so many 16 and 17-year-old Driver fuckheads. Well, did you learn a lot? Like, first of all, why were you there? Because I was. was a, I used to be a driver fuckhead. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, and and somehow, you know, I had to go. I had to go there. Hit, Points. Hit, hit your point maximum. Yeah, something like that. Didn't pay attention to tickets enough. Gotcha. I don't know. Either way, I went in and was quickly reminded about why I dropped out of so many schools. <laughs> you can tell me I got to sit here for four hours with two fifteen-minute breaks that didn't even come when they were supposed to come. But that's neither here nor there. Boy, there are a lot of bad drivers in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. That lady said, well, why doesn't everyone just name one of the really bad driving habits that they practiced that led them to being here today? <laughs> Full-blown text little conversations. Nigga like, fam, <laughs> I, I, I don't even look at the road. <laughs> <laughs> what, what stop sign, nigga? It's me. Yeah. That's a suggestion. <laughs> I don't stop at lights. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They pressured me to say something bad. I was like, what you, you, you had to dig into your bag and find something? Uh, no, nah, I was just telling you, was like, all right, I, fine, I drive with my knees, man. <laughs> <laughs> since we're sharing. All right, yeah. since, since you guys, <laughs> it's bad, I know, man. I, I got to make a change. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough for today. Then she put on the little projector with yeah. all the oh, fucking bad price. accidents. This nigga was four hours. This is fun. That was a bid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None of this is the funniest part. <laughs> none of the, none, the nothing part. about the defensive me and the defensive driving class sitting in the back of the class cracking jokes and there with a bunch of sixteen and seventeen year olds. No, that's bad funny. Licenses. This is a Jersey. That's hilarious. This is a New Jersey. It, it uh, wouldn't. It wouldn't be Joe Budden if if that if, if it weren't funnier. This is a Jersey driving class too, right? See, Maul knows. You me. were like the you <laughs> yeah. were like the Billy this Madison is a Jersey driving class. You were the Billy Madison of the class. Get your good jokes out now, baby. I'm just asking. <laughs> I want to know what the, what yeah, the age range know. was here. Were you uh, the oldest one there? No, there was another dude there that was maybe 41 and another one that was 46. He didn't talk much. The 41 year old dude, shocker. he sat next to me, a uh, white guy, I forgot his name, but shout out to him. He was much like me, just didn't pay his license or tickets any mind since he was 20, and here he is. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Ta da! Got it. <laughs> Makes right. sense. Any fans in there? Uh, well, there was one kid, I'm not going to say he's a fan, but during the 10 minute break when I went to get some Cheetos, the kid came up, and he was on FaceTime with someone, and he put his phone directly in my face. So Naturally. it was like I was tongue kissing his face, like very, very I was polite. doing the Jill Scott to his phone. Yeah, Whoa. like okay. I was just trying to buy Cheetos, though. <laughs> so I immediately put my fucking apple juice up to the phone, pushed it all the way back, said, "Are you fucking crazy? I will fuck you up in here. You don't ever put some." You know, I did that whole spiel. Sure. He sat down, timid and so awkward. You, so you should have been in the road rage I did my whole class. class. When I got out of the class, I found a corner to go and hide and smoke in. By then, he was in his vehicle with a friend of his. He circled around to where I was smoking at, put his phone up, started <laughs> recording me, said, ah, say it now, pussy. Come on, <laughs> say it now. <laughs> I stepped I stepped to the left to just hide behind a pole. He <laughs> drove <laughs> off. Pussy. I was super proud of myself because I could have caught that car. <laughs> With a rock? You wouldn't have caught the car, Joe. I swear to God, I could have caught I know, the car. I know you swear to God, but you wouldn't have caught the car. Were you wearing like your... on feet? I've seen you run. We're a little corporate now. No, but it's like scorned woman strength. So you have you have scorned men's speed? Were you wearing your wife, Peter? <laughs> it was underneath the shit. Just you could have switched yeah. out. <laughs> Got your uniform. No, you put a dirty beat on. That's yeah. a different Joe. It was yeah. clean. It was Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, dirty beat of Joe is different. It's a little yeah. different. You ain't faster. had your dirty beat with you. You would have caught it with the dirty beat. Yeah, we do actually have a lot like to your, talk uh, about. So like I don't have 20 minutes for y'all to just be idiots. I'm just saying. I know y'all enjoying know how you all the car. 
Yo, y'all got it. Because that's, that's Clark Kent into the Superman shit. Yeah. Like, if he take off this little knitted sweater and it's just a dirty wife beater, he's fast. he might be able to catch some shit. And he has rocks. I hate when Roy just came from a do say where the girls told him he was funny on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? That's what happened. Because then he come here, then he's trying to get them off like the real funny I'm not, ones. I'm, right now. I'm sick of you. I've been quiet. Oh, he no, chilling, no, no, no. He's chilling. He's chilling right now. Y'all talking he's about like, some driving shit. He got me shit. twisted. I'm chilling right now. Would you like me to get to the funniest part of me being in this oh, that's defensive not driving it? class? Oh, no. You got to get to the funniest part. When did we do this podcast? Thursday, right? I so. Thursday. I leave here. Mm. Drive home. Go to bed. Got in bed probably about 11.30. Woke up. 4.45. Walked outside. My car was gone. <laughs> nah. So I walked to the street. <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe you misplaced it. <laughs> Thought you parked on the street. <laughs> Thought you parked on the street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I my car. Yeah. Yo, you, you, never, you never experienced just waking up and like being in a whole different galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Maybe yeah. 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 it was in the street. Yeah, yeah. maybe it moved. It. Yeah. maybe my car is like Bumblebee. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I walked the street. There wasn't no cars in the street. Mm-hmm. Right, maybe went out to the store. The car went for a walk. <laughs> so I said, "Oh shit, <laughs> I ain't got no car," which was cool for the Friday. But <laughs> when I had to go to the defensive driving class. Boy, did I feel like a dick. I don't even have a car. Why am I here? I have nothing to drive. So what happened to the car? It got stolen, nigga. The jokes. What? <laughs> Your car really got stolen? Stolen, stolen? I told you men don't talk talk to each other about anything that they're going <laughs> nah. through. Nah. It got stolen, stolen? Out my, of your driveway? No. It was, what the part of... Yes. It was stolen out of my driveway. Get the fuck out of In wow. your neighborhood? No <laughs> way. With the gate. Oh, yeah. the gate oh, oh, geez. First of all, Andrew's getting out that driveway. This is a story that will go down in the love and hip hop history books. But what is the truth? How is that even possible? What is a lie? So, listen, let's not even dwell on that for a second. Let's dwell on what we learned because that's why life is great because you never really know shit. Mm. And this is an area that I was masterful in Mm. when it comes to stealing cars. Mm. That was in the 90s. Mm. It was a little easier then. You could... To shimmy things. Yeah, I don't even know how they could steal your car. Well, they got a new thing. They so just like GPS is uh, everything. They, can just, they have like little fods that can just open the electronic shit. Oh, okay. They See, have the robots. Bo- they coming. have these boxes that, if they just put it to your door, it will pick up whatever Mercedes or smart electronic key is there. And then if your car is unlocked or whatever, then they're just out. And my car is never locked at my house. Mm-hmm. So. But in the 90s, the, the trick was, you know, you send them to a chop shop and all that. That's not, that's not what they're doing anymore. I'm learning. <laughs> Selling them shits on Instagram? No, they're just wiping <laughs> the vent off like a gun. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> they wipe the vent off like a gun. They get the little chipper tracker out the shit. They put it in a metal container so you never find it. They ship it overseas for max money. Get the fuck out of Jeez. here. Jeez. That's the game now. Wow. But all of the games are advanced. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, you just told me something. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. No, I, I've, well, I've, I heard damn, about that kid. from the cops that they had a little scanner joint that could just pop open the locks. I was very thankful that they took my car. <laughs> I was really happy about it. I took that as a moment to really be reflective and thank God. Because all right, then nigga need a car, take the car, man. <laughs> That's number one. And Wait. number two, thank God that I wasn't just walking my dog outside. I played that scene totally different with me going outside and getting in my car and it being a nigga in my car. True. That's oh, not good. Man. That's not gonna be a good scene. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah, so let's get some Wait. more. Yeah. So now you just I the car? left I left brand new shoes from Kith in your trunk. Oh no, they're gone. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they were beautiful. Because I asked Sin before they took the car. I said, Hey, are those yours? And then she said, No, I said, Oh, those are Rory's, he must have left them there. The thief took those, my new Louis purse. Gone. Your purse? Fuck. Yeah, I just said my my okay. new just my sure. my came just up. Just making sure. My more. yeah, that was a come up. I know that's a come up. They came up. You know them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you you could steal you. I just told me something with this chip shit. Like, I'm like, how could you even steal your your Damn car? It. I didn't even get to wear those shoes. They were Sorry. really nice shoes. They were. That sucks. Yeah, they were a uh, eleven. I call Ronnie. And, and Ronnie, I don't think, Ronnie I, don't think I had insurance on those shoes. <laughs> Ronnie will call you. He'll call you back. He'll, he'll sing. Yeah, you Ronnie, back. if you're listening, I'm I'm a victim of car theft. All right, well, no, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so let's get on to more sad news. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. 
Uh, Icon, the legend. The the yeah, man. Wow, but like what? I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That's how big a part he was of my childhood, my brother's childhood. Long before the movies became a thing, like I was a real comic book guy. Yeah, so even our adulthood, really. Yeah, my or my life. Yeah, my life. Yeah, and he just lived such a such an amazing, fruitful, long, like ninety five that- years old. Yeah, he was on the right side of on the right side of good, man. I just really fuck with Stan Lee. Sad, sad to see him go. Uh, I did find it funny that people saying, "Oh, too soon." It's like, fam, how long do you want him to be here? Yeah. Like, if you get ninety five years, you better thank your lucky heavens. Yeah. That's borrowed time. Ninety five. Yeah, it's a good run. It's all now. It's, it's all borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. True. Uh, so rest in peace to Stan Lee. Uh, prayers and condolences out to him. We have more sad news, right? The wildfires, yeah, yeah, in LA. That's, that's the wildfires in LA. Let's save that. Is there more sad, sad news? Um, oh, uh, the Chicago security guard that was uh, yes, doing his job, breaking up a fight. He was armed when the police showed up and mistaked him for, I don't know, I don't know what they mistaked him for, but they shot him dead. Uh, can we get his name so we can properly address him? Uh, we want to get all of the sad world stuff out of the way. Not to be... Uh, Jamel Robertson. Jamel Robinson? Robertson. Robertson. Yes. Jamel Robertson. Horrible, horrible, horrible story. Please don't be too desensitized to feel and be a part of humanity. I read it and was shook up, got goosebumps. Uh, horrible, horrible news. I want to say prayers and condolences to his family as well. Uh, do we have more sad shit? I hope not. Uh, Donye Jones and Ferguson. Oh yeah, we missed man. that the last two weeks. Yeah, well, they found him that. hanging. Uh, I think in his mother's backyard from a tree or something like that. He was lynched. Jesus. And now they're investigating it. They're, they're trying to call it a suicide, but of course they're black people in red states. <clears throat> be careful, please. Yeah. In any state. True. Red states especially. Ferguson especially. Yeah, prayers and condolences <laughs> yeah, yeah. to Donye Jones' family. I'm saying that like I was safe at home. <laughs> Car just moved. <laughs> uh, the Cali wildfires, right? I didn't know all you niggas lived, lived next door to each other. Yeah. And I don't want to be insensitive. I'm just talking about what I learned. All these niggas lived next door to each other. Well, I mean, it hit the, that Malibu, Calabasas area where a lot of people moved in the last 10 years. I Rich know, but I guess I was unaware that. of exactly how many people moved there. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a I mean, I, I just don't understand what those wildfires, like, why don't they have, I mean, by now, that state should be used to wildfires. It seems like there's one or two or three every year. Yeah. It should be some type of system in play now where they're a little more advanced and able to control the situation sooner. Or prevent them in or, some or way, you know? Yeah. Clean up the brush. Or a little bit of quick responders. Yeah. Uh, but I was in L.A., and on Friday it was super clear. Woke up on Saturday, opened my hotel blinds. Couldn't even see out of them. There was so much smoke. And I was nowhere really near where the they were. The one and only son of Tony. That, that nigga too. woke up, opened the blinds, couldn't see smoke no, I, everywhere. Had to duck, crawl to safety, that, you got save that. low key in them. Is there gonna be a rhyme in there? Some of that rhyme scheme is a little I don't too think abstract. He had to do any uh, yeah, of that. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I don't think he had to duck. You were saying, but no, it, it definitely affected that area. Even if your home wasn't affected, tough to breathe out there. That's crazy. I didn't realize that wildfire shit like really affected. Yeah, I saw people posting Mad like shit the, around, the like weather. not just the shit on fire. I saw people posting the weather and it was like smoke. Yeah. Where did Kanye find the private firefighters? I was wondering, is there like a private investigative pri- uh, firefighter? Lauren, where did they nobody? find private firefighters? Were they retired? Like who's just... Oh, you don't know. Who's someone that's a firefighter that's not working? Yeah, like shouldn't like, they all like have I been... Like I do that on the side. <laughs> Mm. Stepping in help, huh? <laughs> Where do you find that number? When I think of stepping in help, I think, you know what I'm saying, flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not stopping the forest fire? Key locked in my car. 
That type if of thing. If you had the little Bieber thing, you wouldn't. That wouldn't be it. Yo, so it's the half of Cali is burning down. Step in and help. Yeah, get out there and help. <laughs> nah, <laughs> run me some of that money, yay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck everyone else's home. Them fires don't really never catch the rich people slipping for real though. I mean, I know, this time, I think. no, no, I know people lost their home. I'm talking about as far as death tolls. <laughs> Like them well, you have ten, you have a, yeah you have a, a some time some, to get some time out. To get out. Yeah. Lucky for Dame, I saw Dame uh, posted that he thought his house was gonna burn. It looked like it was. All the houses around him burned, but his. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, and the picture was nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the pictures look crazy. Cars just like are ashes. <laughs> yeah, it's cool on fire, bro. That's fucked up. I have that as, as my top of never wanting to go out a certain fire. Way. Yeah. Fire. I'm yeah. cool on that. Yeah. Pussy. <laughs> He's so pussy. Uh, okay. He pushy to not, right. not, not want to go out and fight. All right, all right tough guy. No, go, for, go burn yourself. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just <laughs> saying, for that to be the one way. Well, what's my one way? Let me think. Oh, drowning. I'm drowning pussy too. I'll take there. drowning over burning alive any day. Mm, I don't know. Any day. All right. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would uh, say, I don't know why. Hey, y'all, y'all picking yeah. way out. Microphone so check one, two, one, two. We are 29 minutes in. We have not talked about a fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be a, a trend around here lately. But we do have a lot to talk about. Um, they're really going to get rid of all you niggas out of uh, Astoria. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? It's coming. Because. Yeah, uh, rest in peace. What side are you next to? My house. Amazon. Amazon is coming to Long Island City. Yeah. Amazon? Amazon. 25,000 employees. High paid. $150,000 a year. Motherfuckers. Oh yeah, wait. I don't, but I don't think it's just Long Island City and Astoria that Amazon is going to change the whole borough of Queens. Yeah, completely. I, 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 well, I, I, Greenpoint, Greenpoint's going to be hit, and Sunnyside's going to be. Greenpoint's hit. been hit and done with. They're going to start finding weird, like they're going to go to Ridgewood. Well, the thing about <laughs> like the they're going to find all these weird spots in Queens that are gone. The thing the about Greenpoint that kept it somewhat safe is that it's not really easy to commute to anywhere, but it's easy to commute to Long Island City. I love when you guys get locked into these really Queens conversations. <laughs> I want to get back to our very global podcast. Oh, okay. So about Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> you were saying about <laughs> Amazon is coming to Queens. Let's stick to that part and what that means. As a Queens resident, Rory be trying to act like a Queens resident, but you're not really from here, so don't nope, try to engage with Parks. All right, cool. How do you Urgent. feel about what's happening? I'm worried about the fact that... Ian thinks it's a great thing. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's... Ian Shashowski over I there. I can see if it was... I, I can see if it was given... Uh, I can see if it was given jobs to low-income people. That would be cool, but it seems to be uh, $150,000 super highly educated people. That they're looking to hire, so that seems like less of a good thing to me. Oh, you hating? No, I'm not. So you, that means you just, that everything. You just see what it is, though. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, I mean, like this is a very Queens is the most culturally diverse county, definitely in the country, potentially in the world, and I feel like this kind of could threaten that. It's also a re- it's a residential borough. It's not so much a commercial borough. That too. So I think. Not just Amazon. That's going to bring other businesses because Amazon attracts other things. It's like a community of right. shit. Like right. when they put a Walmart in a little town, it fucks everything up. Right. The Amazon real- is going to ruin a residential borough. The right. real estate agents always say to look for, what well, they told me anyway, to look for the nearest Starbucks or what else was it? A Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah Starbucks uh, is usually the first Apple one. Store. What else was it? Chipotle. They, just a list of, I'm sure that's on the list. <laughs> You joking? I'm sure it's no, on the I'm, list. I'm, I wasn't joking. <laughs> yeah. There's a list of things you should just look for. Whole that Foods means that the real estate people are assessing land with metrics that we can't see, and it's about to be worth a lot of shit that we can't afford. So, yeah. Up. Huh? And Whole Foods is Amazon. Exactly. That's the true. world is Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> what if we're living and Whole on Foods planet is Amazon? Amazon. <laughs> see more. Than you. Y'all never thought about that? No. What if we're in Amazon? <laughs> A good point, Will. I've lived here for 12 years, <laughs> and I'll say the, the gentrification has been really slow considering our uh, location nearest to Manhattan. We're probably the closest neighborhood to Manhattan, and it's been really slow considering that fact, and this is just going to accelerate it fucking through the roof. If you guys, uh, let me backtrack real quick. If yeah. you guys were homeowners, would you guys purchase all the different insurances to protect you from all the different shit that's out there? No. <laughs> 
I don't even get the insurance when you were in the car. They'd be like, yo, listen, you want the $25 in case? <laughs> nah, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> Crash the whole fucking car now. You got to pay are for it. Like, yo, listen, if you just got the $25 extra, now you got to come out of pocket $7,000. I would do that with my phone, too. Like, yeah, I don't saying, always yeah. break my iPhone. I don't yeah. need insurance. Yeah, I'm not getting insurance on my phone. Insurance. Yeah, you buy it. You spend man, spend man money on the TV. Here they come. Do you want the one year insurance? No, no <laughs> not at all. I'm just gonna watch TV. Ten burn months, out or die. Ten months in, your shit start acting up. You like, yo, look at this bullshit. <laughs> That's how they get you. That's but true. nah, I mean, I don't think homeowners really get all the insurance, especially like you don't get water insurance if you don't particularly live in a place where it's like water have, threatening. If you live at the bottom <laughs> of a hill, in case it rains, well, you guys have rental insurance. That's the thing about insurance, guys. <laughs> Do you guys have rental insurance? You never know when you're gonna need it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. But that's what I'm saying. People don't get it because it's like. My, building, like never my building requires rental insurance. That was a first for me. I, was like, I don't even know where to get that. Your building requires Requi- what? To have rentals insurance. Well, that's kind of like, isn't that like- It's a like si- 16 bucks a month. It's not that yeah. crazy. Yeah. I don't have it. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you have insurance <laughs> on your car? I don't have 16 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not paying the 16? Yeah, no, I'm cool on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me see. What else is there? Now that y'all talked about all of the sad things- I actually was on the phone with an insurance guy to get some clarity on all of this stuff, but I'll tell you guys later. Fuck y'all. Okay. Uh, okay. Nah. Oh, yeah, Maul, come on. Give it to me. Yo. yo. Oh, wow. Come on. Relax. 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 Uh, Jaden Smith. <laughs> why, why you went to Maul for that? <laughs> because when I asked Maul about anything that he wanted to discuss, that was the first thing. That was, he straight went to that one. Okay. That, that's not even true. But <laughs> all right, whatever. What do I feel about that? <sighs> Listen, man. I mean, I don't. I don't think that it was. You know, I think it was. I obviously think they, he was joking. But I don't even understand why this this new era like they even joke like that. I don't even get like. You know what I mean? To me, that's kind of like I don't think. That Jaden Smith and Tyler the Creator are in a relationship. Our no. brains always go two totally opposite directions. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I don't. Do I think that? No. Even if he said it, I, I think it's like they just joking. But that's how like these young dudes play now. So two and bisexual men. I don't know if Jaden Smith is bisexual. Hadn't he said that before? No, I never these, heard that. These kids just be saying shit. I don't. I've never heard him say that. I don't know. Y'all could be wait, teaching wait. me something right now. I've never heard Jaden Smith say right, that. Well, we, we, we've yeah, heard. We've heard either. Tyler the Creator say it. I don't even know yeah, if I've Tyler ever even heard him actually oh, say it. No, he tweeted it one time. On, man. But that's what I'm saying. He kisses white tweet. boys or some shit. What you but th- see, to, to me, that's just like... He fucking marketed his whole album around coming out of the closet for a week. I'm yeah, not saying that, that me- makes yeah. it true. Yeah, you just right. be saying I'm just saying I've said never it quite heard a bit. Tyler, the creator, say he's gay. Never heard it. I mean, he's rapped about fucking men. Yo, how come <laughs> gay people tell you what they are and still we doubt I don't, I don't, like, no, no, no. I I don't know who the me, fuck are we no, no, I just, The nigga said, said I like I like men I like men a lot Yo I'm tired of being shamed for it And we still Did like Did he say that? Nah okay. <laughs> Nah no way Did he say that? Not before? him I, I never heard no, him say it's, that it's, yeah, based off, be... it's based off Tyler always saying Don't take anything I say seriously Especially when I rap But this is what I'm <laughs> so saying I'm talking like, about him Not gay people I don't trust what Tyler says Okay That's you guys' take What's your take? I just don't understand How these dudes play Like that's not even Joking around shit to me You know what I'm saying Like I don't even understand Why that's like the funny Line to be throwing around now It's kind of funny It's No it's not There's <laughs> nothing funny about You standing on stage And saying you're my boyfriend That's not funny Like what are you talking about It depends on the situation I guess Nah I don't, why know. Is it? Tyler, I don't Tyler get why it's funny either It's not It's nothing funny about that And, and if it's not true Then it becomes offensive it's, that, That's what I was going to say next like, And especially if it's not true Then it's like if it's, oh, They're both bisexual Wait why is that offensive that could, That's why I'm saying humans. Wait, what did you say, Parks? I said if they're both bisexual and there's like well, that's rumors my- shooting around about both of them, then I think that's a funny thing to say on stage. No. <laughs> Wait, but why would why would that be offensive if someone said, yo, that's my boyfriend, but it wasn't actually their boyfriend? Well, because offensive? no, it's offensive. No, it's offensive if you do not subscribe to that lifestyle, and now you're just making a mockery of the oh, lifestyle. Like, yeah. If you're if like more just making said, a mockery of it. I think so. Okay. I don't know if it's making a mockery of it. If I go on stage and start doing it, it's, it's, it's trolling. It's making a mockery of it. Yeah. That's exactly It's offensive. What it it's, a, it's offensive to a community. I mean, I don't get to dictate whether so it's if, offensive if or a, not. if a gay man went to like... His, Only his on this podcast, girl, we try to make sense of the dumbest things. It's offensive. <laughs> like, I don't even understand would you, as what you, tricks as you're straight, trying to come up as with. As a straight person, would you be offended if a gay guy went to his, his girlfriend and was like, that's my girlfriend now? 
like his friend that was a girl? Would you be offended as a straight man? Mm. If, he, if he was joking, like holding her like, no, this is my girlfriend. I'm not offended. <laughs> You're just fucking around. And what offends straight men, I would assume to be very different than what would assume a gay man. If they're not doing it in a derogatory way or making a negative remark about it, I don't Roy, think it's offensive. It, cool. This is not for you and I to debate anyway. <laughs> of course <laughs> like, not. <That's> true. <laughs> like, well, I don't understand why. I, him I, and I just I don't are understand why this is like the like uh, the playful thing now. I just don't get. I don't understand. I'm, how I'm the, with Maul. How they're playing? How these young dudes is playing? I don't. So my take it. was very different. So because I didn't take them for play play, I took them to be very serious. Mm-hmm. You know, exposing a relationship. So then when Tyler kind of dubbed it. Then I was like, oh, wow, all right, now we got some juicy shit here. The, Maybe they broke up. The gay curve. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> to get curved. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> On stage like That's that? That's my point. That's crazy. Like, if I'm taking them at their word, it's much sicker. Yeah. Like, he's exposing his love on stage. And Tyler's just like, nah. Cool, my G. Yeah. <laughs> like, even if they really into that. Yeah. Nah, don't go public with me. <laughs> Like, I don't know you like that's that. That's how I took hit, it. Hit him with an LOL. <laughs> nah, that was almost like the, that was like a, is there an evil a, LOL? A Sometimes LOLs are evil. In nature. When girls LOL. Exactly. Well, Nikki, Nikki kind of shot her shot <laughs> at, the, not at the People's Choice Awards to Michael B. Jordan. Did she? Yeah, she did her thank you speech and was like, thank you Versace for making this dress. Michael B. Jordan's going to be taking it off later and then got off the stage. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Queen Minaj. All right. Yo, but I'm glad you mentioned that. Speaking of Michael B. Jordan. Wow. I know y'all don't ever roll with me when I be when I go on these tangents, because y'all <laughs> y'all are losers. No, we just we have no problem with Michael B. Jordan, that's why. Yes, you do though. Not really. You do. I have no, <laughs> problem. no problem. You do. You, do. you just zero problems. problems. How, what, what problem would I have with Michael B. Jordan? I don't oh. know him. <laughs> Never had a problem with niggas you didn't know, huh? Not a real problem. Mm, see how fast you catch niggas lying? <laughs> <laughs> Michael B. Jordan, I've been a little tired of for a little while just because I'm old and grumpy and I'm a hater. Mm-hmm. But now that I have a little more knowledge as to what Creed 2 is about, nah. I don't get how you didn't know that that's, that was about, that's what it was about. How would I know that that's what it's about? Because the, it was only the, the trailer and stories. Like <laughs> I didn't feel. I like knew what it was about before the trailer came out. How? Because you was it was like write ups about it. It was telling what it, the, the part two was going to be about. All right, so listen, you get notifications when Michael B. Jordan write ups occur. No, that's not what happened. I don't, my G. I'm, I'm not on my. I'm not, issues, I'm not glued the to the phone when the writers say, no, "Yo, Michael glued. B. with another one." I just saw when it was announced <laughs> in the Creed two, and I was like, "Oh, what is this going to be about?" Like, There's a million Rocky things that this movie cancer? could be about. He, like, I, that's what I was thinking. That Rocky's gonna die like Mick did. Rocky should have been dead. <laughs> in yeah. the movie, I'm saying. Yeah. Rocky couldn't f- couldn't go up the steps in the last Creed. <laughs> but that's why I thought this. He couldn't Creed, run around the block. That's why I thought this Creed was gonna be him dying. And and fucking poor Rocky who couldn't run around the block had to go wake Creed up to pra- to to go to the gym. Come on, champ. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's what you got me watching. Yeah. yeah. All right. So cool. We watched it because we fuck with Mike and uh and Homeboy directed it. We fuck with them. Mm-hmm. I saw uh when Apollo fought Drago though. Mm-hmm. You Did there? you see it? Of course. Did you see it? Mm-hmm. Did you see it? Everybody here saw it, right? We was, we was ringside. If your dad got knocked out and died <laughs> mm-hmm. and then had a son who appeared to be same size and strength, mm-hmm. you would be rushing to box that man again <laughs> like your dad did. Some years can have, passed. Can I have an honest answer <laughs> from everyone in the room, please? Because I have that I have more questions to follow, so please just answer that one first. If I was a boxer, yeah, I probably would want to fight him. I probably would. But if you, I'm just like a past, regular dude, a, a regular a nine slower. to five, and <laughs> a dude that killed my dad in the ring has a son, I'm not going to just run down on his son and want to fight his son. <laughs> no, he didn't have nothing to do with killing my pops. I might run down on Drago's old ass. You think there's a movie to be made from Apollo's son who barely won the first fight mm-hmm. to go chase down a nigga who dad... Killed this. 
He wants Nobody will give it up. All right. All right. He, he want that rematch. He want the yeah. no fuck he's he don't. Revenge, he want it. Joe. Come yeah. on. What's better than yeah. revenge seeking movies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to avenge his Yo, father. Yo, nobody yeah. want to call it. Yeah, that's what he he wants that revenge. Yeah. He wanted to try to kill yeah. Drago's son, son now. George Bush went to Iraq. We might Gotta well. come back for his pops. All right. I just, Joe <laughs> thinks that that's insanity. Joe thinks that that is nuts. And I can't well, believe that there's a whole movie. And you can't wait to go see it. And I can't. And I ain't watching that shit. And I can't believe that he's the person that won the fight. Michael B. Jordan can't beat up know, no goddamn Drago, son. How do you know if he won the fight? <laughs> have you seen Drago? How and you, where's Drago? How do you know if he won the fight? He don't look sad on the pro, on the promo run. Nah, because he, <laughs> he lost the, the he lost the fight the first nah, one. And we didn't know nah, he until on, we saw the movie. He on the promo <laughs> run still still talking about future fights. Like yeah, after that one, it was a tough brawl. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want. Be, nah, 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 nah sounds sad, nigga. Nah, I, that, I, gotta, that, I wanna see it. I, I'm you, go of see course, it. you I'm wanna see it. it. I'm gonna go see it. That's my point. Absolutely, I gotta go see it because he has to lose this fight. You try to get you try. You can't to, lose the fight to the last dude. You try to get and then that. Go be Drago's son. Maul, That's not how. Maul it try to get that. Take the watch <laughs> feeling back. No, I'm just saying. I want. I want. I want to take see, off the watch on these niggas. I want to see where this story goes. Because at some point, Rocky has to pass away. Like Rocky beat everything. He beat niggas he shouldn't have beat. He beat cancer. <laughs> it's like, all right, fam. Like, what's going? What's going? What are you gonna lose to? What is Rocky going to lose to? Car <laughs> listen, I was going to say, this going to be something listen, really stupid. Yeah. Rocky better get far away from that ring before Drago's son recognizes him. <laughs> I know that much. Nah, he know who he is already. Yeah, I, he, he better know. run. In between rounds. Hey, Sylvester, <laughs> all that shit is cool. He know who he but is. But if Drago's son look at you and got a little melee in him. Yeah, it's over. Man, if you don't get Michael B. Jordan the fuck out of here with this shit. I'm listen, finished man, with I'm, them. I'm going all. to see it, though. I can't lie. I know you are. I'm going to go check it out. I know. You You are the guy to. that's going to see it. I got it. to. I'm going to see it two more. Yeah, I got to. Yeah. Uh, what else is fun out here since y'all don't want to kill Creed 2 with me? <laughs> <laughs> you I like that you're killing Michael B. Jordan like he wrote it. <laughs> uh, or, or like actually fought. Or directed fought. it or yeah. produced it. Or, or actually fought. Oh, oh, that's really Drago's son for real. <laughs> <laughs> I want Michael B. Jordan to start taking some movies that challenge him as an actor and give him more than uh, four word sentences. <laughs> you never saw The Wire, then? <laughs> yeah, Joe hates The Wire. That's true. Everything gets back to The Wire with you guys. It does. Did you see Hardball? He was wonderful as well. Did I see Hardball? No, it's Hardball. With Keanu Reeves? He's the coach. For oh, I did see Hardball. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan was in that. Did you like that? I mean, like. As an adult. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if it's a little like it. you, if you got a little horrible. hate for Michael B. Jordan that goes way back. Like you just no, 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 no. I like him as a person. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know him, but no. I don't have a beef with no, no, him no, as, I, a, I get what as a saying. person. I get what you're saying. You don't really fuck with the Creed series or the Wire. Um, it's a few more. <laughs> it's a few. I'm not going to really get into it. How many sentences he had in Fruitville Station? He was the main character. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, great. Great. he's, he's the main character in every movie that they give him four sentences in. Nah. He had he had more than he four had sentences. seven sentences in Black Panther. He, he had in, fourteen sentences in Fruitville Station. It was just him sad on the curb. <laughs> that, that was the movie. Yeah. And in the train. <laughs> 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 that's a great movie. That's a fantastic movie. movie. I know because we all cried. And like damn, movie, then yeah. they're on the curb. You cried at that Fruitville because I think you tweeted when you walked out of there. You was like, "Yo, listen, man." I think he might have posted a video. Yeah, 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 like, yo, I man, made a crying video. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, man, yo like, listen, man. Lie, we gotta we gotta do something, man. This shit is this country is <laughs> fucked up, man. If you go see that if you go see that movie as a black man and don't feel no type of way, it's something wrong we with you. We gotta save the community. Yeah, that's how you felt. Fuck so he did it. something to I you. I probably did cry during that. Boy, episode listen. He had about four sentences in hardball too. I'm telling you, that. I'm not. I'm not kidding. And he's the main character in all these shit. Listen, Red Tails. Man. He spoke in Red Tails. Wasn't he? What the one fuck of, is Red Tails? Wasn't he Fantastic Four too? Wasn't he one of the? the, the um... Yes, the nigga that didn't talk in Fantastic Four. <laughs> yes, he was the Human Torch. I mean, no, he wasn't the Human Torch. He wasn't Torch. the Human Torch. Was he wasn't he? The, human torch. Uh, the white dude was the Human Torch. What was he in Fantastic Four? Because he ain't talk there either. Save on. <laughs> oh wait. Was? Oh wait, cause he was in the Wax Fantastic Four, remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. and he ain't talk. That nigga said, "Yo, it's me." 
<laughs> this is what I do. Oh, it's hot now. <laughs> oh. You don't want to get me mad. <laughs> Look out for the water. Yeah. Yo, that nigga has not said shit. And that's all nigga, so I'm just going to shut up now. But that's I'm noticing it, and I just wanted to change. That's all. That's funny as fuck. And what you, I know he ain't got too much, too much to say to Drago, son. <laughs> <laughs> count the words that he say to Drago. Yo, I'm not about to count. This nigga is stupid. Man. <laughs> Let him rock. What's man. all the good? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what he gonna say to Drago, son. You guys didn't rush to theaters for the awkward moment with Zac Efron and Michael B. Jordan. I saw that movie though. Did you? Yeah, I, I saw it on HBO. You be in your rom com bag? <laughs> nah, it was it was cool. <laughs> it was all right. You saw it, right? It, was all right. it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad movie. Don't ever say rom com to me. <laughs> but it wasn't a bad movie though. It definitely was, was a date night, one. huh? Date nah, night. I just I saw it just scrolling through the channels and I didn't know what it was. Some I of them little insta snaps more be doing definitely be from a date night. I haven't been different, on a date. Different colors did, on the yeah, entertainment he, he, system. I haven't yeah. been on a date. I, I, I don't know the, how long. I, I know because I saw you recently. You snapped. Uh, you insta snapped. Uh, the energy just isn't mutual anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Damn, what she did? Why? Wait, so y'all think I'll be talking about? It's not. I took a picture. It's never oh. about a woman, though. Like I don't know why oh, yeah, y'all be thinking that, that shit so that, is like. That's what Maul said. Whose energy wasn't mutual? Yeah, Maul. Was it, was it, was it, it. Erickson or uh, something? Just talking about it's just a lot of fake shit going on. Like, that's true, Maul. That's all it was. It wasn't about a woman. <laughs> Would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't about. Like woman related I just thought it was funny That Maul used the word mutual <laughs> Yo this nigga thinks I'm like the most Illiterate person ever Like No but what I'm saying what is What other word could he have used No what I'm saying is the I'm reading this sentence The energy isn't mutual Anymore That means at one point It was mutual Or oh, it seemed to be um, mm. We ain't gonna talk about Murder Inc Mm-mm. We ain't gonna do that So what So where did it change Like I don't. I think everybody just has ulterior motives with each other now. Like, it's a, you don't never. You know, it's hard to de, to decipher what's genuine with people anymore. <laughs> know what I mean, it's a good record. Like a lot of shit people say and do is just like, y'all niggas is fake. All this shit is fake. It's a lot of fake bros, and that's my bro. That's my bro. It's oh, like, there's a lot of fake bros. You don't even. I don't Everyone's even like each other. <laughs> You know how many people I see hanging out with each other that I know don't like each other? Like, I'm just like, what is that about? Like, that's nasty to me. That's why I avoid a lot of, like, events and going out. Because there'll be a bunch of niggas in there that don't really like each other. So it's all, it's all fake. Because I could go in there trying to be real with people. And then it's like, but you're trying to be real with a bunch of fake people. Hmm. You're, fighting, mm. you're fighting a losing a losing, a losing battle. Sometimes when you're the only thing real... Really, you don't only think fake. Great man once said that. Yeah, oh, that's now real. I gotta let the hook ride. Oh. <laughs> Sound like Jill just walked out the door on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that is Wait, the song Sh you Charlene play. was just a, a code name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't say a real Word. name. <laughs> that um, is the song you play if a chick walk out on you. Where did yeah. it all go? Y'all did y'all ever play music like to help you get over a breakup? Of course you did. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like we've talked about that before here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Probably we have. Listen, let's talk about uh, uh, let's talk about how Michelle Williams' husband looks like Rory. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. we can. Let's and that. outside of that, we'll talk I, about... I definitely did a double take because, of course, it was in my mentions. I was like, oh, wait, is that me next to Michelle? <laughs> so there's a few <laughs> when, shows. When did that video happen? I want to I I watch her show on OWN. I want to watch... I caught a little bit of, of T.I.'s show with... Uh, the friends that they added, Monica and Shannon Brown, like that's real good too. Um, I want to check out Growing Up Hip Hop. I just haven't yet. I, I've caught a few episodes. Who, I've seen enough now. Who, who's I'm that? I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> the characters in it, they got uh, uh, Romeo's in there. Dame Son is in there. Bo yeah, Boogie is in there. And, uh, was Angela Simmons? Angela in there Simmons. Uh, Bow Wow. Mary J. Blige's stepdaughter. Um, What's her name? Bow Wow's on it. Yeah, he's on there. Wow. What and and what's shorty yeah. name uh who used to be on Love and Hip Hop dances uh over here? She's a Johnny Blaze. Is she on it? Yeah. How did she go Johnny on Blaze grew up hip hop? 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I read that Johnny Blaze on Love Grown Up Hip Hop, yeah. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Ma, look that up. <laughs> She's Wait, not you on think that. Johnny Blaze can't grow up hip hop. <laughs> no, no, Johnny Blaze is not on Grown Up Hip Hop. <laughs> I can assure. I don't even watch that show, and I can tell you one thousand percent. You don't Johnny, think she grew up hip hop? No. Why is Maul talking like he couldn't well, be on that show? Give me who else true. is on there. Maul. Maul is on that show. Give me the women on there. Christina DeBarge. Okay. Oh, they need to get uh, Johnny Blaze. <laughs> now they need to get her. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's her growing up hip hop story? And better than some of that shit over there. <laughs> get the fuck hey, out of here. I, I, I promise you, no, you a Johnny Blaze doc. That. No, you cannot. You Johnny watching Blaze a Johnny Blaze doc. Now Johnny you hating. Do- now you hating. I'm hating because I don't want to watch a documentary. I, I yes. Watch Why Blaze is that doc. hating? I'm That'd not hating. a biopic. Yeah. A I'm biopic. done with you. I'm done with you now, Maul. You're hating. Michelle Williams. What what did she say to her husband? She 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 mentioned uh, they were talking about something, and she said to her husband that you know you probably wouldn't understand because you're not black. You weren't raised around uh, black people. You didn't go through some of the same. You know that. And then he know. went right after her mental health. Yeah, and then he said, "Did you take your meds today?" Yeah, and I had to really sit and spend some time with that to see if if it was as offensive as I thought it was. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to put myself in his shoes and all of that shit. And then after I was done, I said. Wow, that was really offensive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that that's up there with the "Are you on your period?" thing that you could never say yeah. to your girl. Hey, I feel like girls rigged the rules with that one. They rig- they got no, that one. What if you're quick. really concerned? Because that's my point. Like when anytime, like and that's the thing. Everybody doesn't have great intentions. But if I say, "Hey, did you take your meds?" I want to make sure that you took your meds. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying yeah. to slight you, but you can't in say that coming moment. off of what she said. And if she yeah, can't be your, if, if she was, clap back. That if can't she was be, like yeah. physically wilding out and yeah. screaming at you, like or like if y'all in a car alone, behavior, yeah, if y'all in a car mean, alone and she's just going through mood swings and you be like, yo, you took your mask, like, cause you on edge about everything right now, like I can understand that. But if she's coming off of saying what she said, and then his response is. Yo, did you take your yeah. meds today? Then that's clearly like a, a dig. Like, I highly doubt whenever she doesn't take them, race is what she talks about. Yeah. That's why you can't say that to her. Yeah, that's a dig. That was a dig. Yeah, no, it was a dig. Yeah. But she sure. said they talked through it. Yeah, that's what couples do. Healthy couples. So then I wanted to know where people stood on, because, you know, we never care about that part. We never care about that we worked through it. Mm-hmm. We only care about, we want to harp on the mistake you made. <laughs> right. Of course. So then, <laughs> so then they Humans tried. are so trash, man. Yeah. It's, it's this era. <laughs> no, it's just humans, man. No, no. It's the Twitter era. It's this era. Yeah. It's, the, it's again, only it's the this I wasn't, era. I wasn't in the other era. I'd just be looking at all the old people that you guys were perfect and we're all full of shit. No. You guys raised us, man. This is your fault, it's not just, ours. Yo, I'm telling you what it is, man. We have access to way too much information. That's true. That's what it, that's what it all comes down to. Like, I just always come back to that. Like, the world is in the state it's in because we just know way too much. And you know what? To that point, Maul, it's not that people's opinions don't matter, but this is the first time we all can have an opinion on everything. Right. Like, when you didn't have all this information, you didn't have an opinion on things because right. it had nothing to fucking do with you. Right. It wasn't part of your life. Now mm-hmm. everyone feels obligated to give an opinion on everything mm-hmm. right. with no information, even though there is just a headline. I and- don't know if it's so much that uh, as opposed to now people caring about other people's opinions. That, so no, that's what it goes yeah, hand in sure. hand. Yeah. Because when you're caring now you because now I, wanna, now I want to give my opinion to your opinion. Yeah. Right. And now we're going is. back and forth about some shit we know nothing about. It's fake kids. I.e. this podcast. It's fake kids, <laughs> fake emotions. It's way too much information. And I even think a lot of this shit with mental health, a lot of this shit is a lot of people just, a lot of the times, I think, just self-diagnosing themselves. Like people, I think people are just like all of this depression and this anxiety shit, I think comes from way too much information. That's valid. Because anxiety comes from thinking ahead too much. Yeah. And thinking about the future too much, worrying these, about shit you can't I think necessarily these, yeah. control. These are the cause of fucking anxiety. Yeah, right it's like it's anxiety. Like you, you, yeah. you upload pictures and you want to know what Sit the world wait for the comments. Yeah, yeah. Wait yeah for the it's likes like and, yo, yeah. what the fuck and is comparing that? Comparing yourself to the other person that has the well, same amount of followers. There is a. I read a study recently that directly correlated uh, mental health to the use of social social networking. Absolutely, sites. I one hundred. I, I can you can clear. see it. Yeah. I can see it. I see it in people's behaviors. Like I saw a girl post a picture on her Instagram and the picture had like it was so far her caption was so far away from what she was standing there naked damn near naked like in a bikini. Right. And her mm-hmm. caption was like about 
yeah, I, you know, I was, I've been, I've been doing my thing, taking care of myself. To, and I'm looking at that like, what the fuck does this picture have to do with anything that you're talking about? Mm. Mm. But that's because people are looking for this acceptance from total and complete strangers. Yeah. More than ever, it's like, mm. yo, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like, that's why I tell a lot of people, yo, people, a lot of people just need to stay off of social media. Yeah. That will that will help a lot, and, and people don't want to do it. It's like just delete everything. Have you ever used the um, little screen time shit where it be yelling at you if you've been on your social media too long? I've never used it. No, no. But that's a really. No. Good I've idea. been starting to use that. It's kind of dope. Real I quick. usually have somebody that just calls me or texts me, tell me to shut up. Right, but they quick. got a little thing that clocks the amount of hours that you be on your shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that like, just pops up on my phone now. On the bad shit week too. Yeah. Real quick before we go any further, to your point, more. I knew a girl whose whole goal was to visit Rome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And then when she got to Rome, all she did was post you, Yo, you you making jokes, but that's that's real though. That's some real shit. Like you no, making true, jokes, though. but that's that's one hundred percent real. You know what's fucked up too? The first time I heard that old part from Drake, I felt him and I gave him his props. I said, mm, <clears throat> like when I was listening, mm, killed that. After the first time, you're like, hey, get the fuck, <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. But, fuck but, that bitch that went to Rome. <laughs> but, 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 but I bet you like that picture, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but it's real. We're so phony. Yeah, but when you think about what he was saying, it's like, we no, all know, we all know somebody like that. We all know somebody like that. a generation in, in that verse. And that's I'm telling you, that's where it comes from, people just being too much information, too into other people's lives, way too invested in what other people have going on, comparing their situation to somebody else's situation and where they are in their life versus where I should be and I want to be. And then you you fuck, you start thinking too much and now you got anxiety. That's why, that's why I really like this that meme that was going around that said, by the time you finally realize you don't know shit about shit is when you, whatever, it's a whole bunch of shits. I don't know. I fucked it up. <laughs> but okay. it was a good one I'm gonna find well, it Well I think And even in a sicker way I think there is some mental health In all this Mental health talk Cause I see a lot of people Now focusing on it That have No interest really in it I think people are getting, But back to that attention On social media I think a lot of people <laughs> Myself maybe Like you're included. talking about Mental health Just to get that sickness Of trying to be accepted On social media more I think I got mm-hmm. My anxiety got more Anxious from reading about people complaining about their anxiety. It will give you anxiety. Reading about anxiety, anxiety will thinking give you about anxiety. anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thinking about anxiety will give you anxiety for sure. And it's because we're thinking too much. Yeah. It's like especially as adults, what do we do as adults? We plan. We plan ahead. Right. This week I got next week I got to do this. Next month I got to do this. Mm-hmm. Next year I want to be doing this. Right. And it's like you don't we don't live in the moment enough. Like I remember when we was kids, I didn't. I was telling somebody when you was kids, I don't remember ever feeling like I didn't have or I wasn't broke or or you know what I mean. I don't even remember that as a kid. If we just had my friends and my cousins, it was like yo, we lit, we with each other. That was enough. No, yeah. no, I remember. Being broke. Like now, it's like <laughs> when you look back, like I look at shit, like I don't know how my moms made like did, made it through like right. certain situations. I'm like, what the fuck? Mom, as an adult, mom's definitely shortened that Christmas list a few times. Oh, for sure. <laughs> You and, didn't, but you didn't know My G.I. Joe niggas Didn't move That's, but, but, but you were <laughs> like, still happy just, though You were still happy With what you their had Their feet wasn't separate <laughs> <laughs> Now it's like Motherfuckers don't get A certain amount of likes And they ready to Fucking kill Wait, themselves And that, like, that mess fuck? With your mental health All the other kids Had the great G.I. Joe I had 500 Little regular niggas <laughs> I might, That might have been A thousand <laughs> You play some oh, yeah, station. Yeah, they came in a bag. Yeah, yeah a little plastic bag. Yeah. Them niggas ain't really staying up with the greatest, but no, they didn't. it was cool. You may do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you are appreciated, I, I don't mom. Know. I just hope with all, I love all this mental health talk. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before way. you do that, Rory, let's shit on moms real quick. I, no. <laughs> on your mom? No, <laughs> on, on mother. I love your mom. Because no. no, I'm listening to more say, because a lot of kids have thought that, like, damn, when we older, damn, I don't know how moms did it. When we get older now, we, we really try to remember. Moms is on some bullshit. <laughs> we, but, but we, once we well. older, we kind of remember how they did it. Yeah. Like, they were my steakums. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, as, as you get older, for sure. <laughs> it's like, all right, you was wild. Like you had me eating some bullshit. Yeah. But back to what I was but saying. You got it done. You got it done, man. Yeah, you got it done. You Thanks, got it Mom. done. For real. Just so we could all sit here and podcast. That's what they did. We lit. That's what they did it for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> we failed our moms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I saying with the mental? What option? point of your life do you think your mom looked at you like a failure? Um, maybe getting kicked out of college. Mm. Not like a failure, but I could definitely like 
see a, since, dis- a since disappointment the, in her since the sadness that I had never seen in her face before. Yeah, yeah I could see that. <laughs> yeah. Maul? <laughs> Last shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no um, shit, we just got off the phone. <laughs> definitely in my, my, oh man, my my early 20s to like mid 20s. Yeah. I know Maul, she, she used to look at me like, like all that all that money I invested. Now look at you. Now look not, at you. Not in one goddamn choir. On the block taking shorts. <laughs> Relax, my nigga. <laughs> Calm down. How you gonna be the nigga taking a short? Calm down, my nigga. On the trays. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd get you back next week, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> on the trays. Come on, have the trays on smash. <laughs> Trey Young. <laughs> you wasn't Trey Young? No, nigga. No, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can somebody tell me what a public figure is on Instagram? Something you can make yourself, so it can't be that great. Because it's, it's, it's an option. Sometimes that you can blogger do. is an option. It's, I, I it's know a what woman a public traded company is. <laughs> I don't know what a public figure is. It's, it's, it's a woman traded. that has a lot of followers but doesn't actually do anything. It could be a man too. I don't often see it. A man public figure is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your public figure. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, dudes figure. dudes can't put that. Yeah. No. They gotta be a. Blog. What if you're a company? What if you're a company? Don't still don't put public figure. What if he's selling waist trainers? Nasty. <laughs> All right, Maul wants to talk about Britney Renner. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> Maul wants to talk about Britney Renner. Maul wants to talk about Britney Renner. As it pertains to her and I, yeah, I, I, I've seen a video floating around on on uh, Van's Red Pill podcast. Shout Here out to Van. Is. Shout out to Bud Van. and I were friends. Um, he he's invited me to his home. I stayed in his guest room when I was in Jersey. Mm. Um, it was wow. always very respectful. So to hear him call me low hanging fruit, I was a little confused because. I've never done anything with him. I've never touched him. And you opened your home up. No, Joe Biden. When he, when he was talking to Scotty, he was about, he said, the fuckity fuck shit that women do. He felt like on either side of this, this wasn't, Thank you, maybe Van. not, not smoke, so much directed at you, Brittany Renner, but he felt like writing the book. Thanks, Van. Okay, so what's tacky is not knowing what the fuck you're talking about. That's like mm. saying, hey, guys, did you listen to the new Drake album? No? Well, let's sit up out here on the Red Pill podcast and talk about and it. That's it. tacky. So how could you say that I'm so easy and so these things? So why would you open up your home to me? But you don't want to talk about that on the show. Because at the end of the day, your your role on that show is to say things for shock value and talk really loud. Mm. Because no, that's Joe what Biden. your draw is. I thought Joe Budden and I were friends. Um, he. And there you have it. Straight fig- from the horse's mouth. She figured you out. Hmm. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> she figured out your whole system. How could you open your home to her, Joe? You got me. Well, in, in Joe's defense, and y'all know I don't defend Joe much. Joe opens his home to everybody. I've walked in Joe's home and seen people that I should never and, meet. Yeah, that's how the I'm bed's not, got legs. Yeah, exactly. But, I'm not um, speaking for Joe's home here, but low hanging fruit. Is the best thing to have at your home. <laughs> Wait, Rory. Yeah, I'm trying out. to figure out what Brittany Renner and Marissa and Van were saying. <laughs> Some of the best nights of my entire life was when the low hanging fruit was fellas, down to fellas, come through. Fellas, relax. It's the easiest to eat. Relax. Man, what the fuck is their problem? Relax. Calm down. Fellas. And let's clarify a few things. Oh, Joe. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joe. Mm-hmm. 2010, 11, 12, Joe was with the low-hanging fruit coming through. That was you and Vern Wilding. <laughs> the nigga put me. <laughs> yeah. I've never Anytime I wanted lady. to see low-hanging fruit, I just Maul. hit Maul. <laughs> what what you mean? You hit me? I just hit Maul and Vern. <laughs> Why? You got to have your niggas that you know got the low-hanging fruit on Smash. I don't have low-hanging fruit on Smash. You did in 2010. No, I did not. All right, well, maybe we'll deny it I've today. actually met some of, my, <laughs> some of the low-hanging fruit through you. Mm. See, that's why mm, I don't like it. You was Trader Joe's. <laughs> that's what the crib was. The crib was in the Trader produce section. You're dying for sin to leave me. <laughs> nah, no, for we real. Talking, nah, come honestly. Come on, man. We talking nah, old school shit, it. That man, nigga, man, he is God dying damn. for sin to leave me no, so, we can, so we can bring the low-hanging fruit no, back. Man, I, peep, I peep your style. Man, we talking old shit, I peep your style. You've never seen a blunt before. No, nigga. I don't even like that type of shit no more. I'm not into that lifestyle no more. Yeah, because just know, even if Sin left me, I wouldn't be bringing the low-hanging fruit through nah, no more. Nah, yeah, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to. It'd have to be some ill shit now. Yeah, nah. We juice now. We and I'm never We don't even eat fruit whole. We juice now. <laughs> so let's get let's get to what Brittany Renner is saying. I never called Brittany Renner easy. 
No, you, she I've said low hanging fruit. She also in this clip, I think she misinterpreted that. Okay. To to mean she was easy. Mm hmm. And I guess that is what low hanging fruit means. I was gonna say. But in the context of what we were saying in the conversation that was being had on State of the Culture, I was talking about tell all books being low hanging fruit. Mm hmm. I'm not mad at prostitution. I'm not mad. And I'm not saying that Britney Renner was doing that, but I'm not mad at prostitution. Mm -hmm. I don't escort shame. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all have heard me say plenty of times that that was the first business. It will be the last business. Mm -hmm. uh, some of my nearest and dearest friends are of that lifestyle. I will never shame that culture. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's me. However, writing a book, you know, that's outside of that culture. <laughs> it's a secret society. All yeah, trust. That's, that's not... In lieu of that, that I'm going to always call low-hanging fruit. Because if you can go to a publishing house and decide to, to uh, have that authored, then guess what? You can have other shit authored. And if you really just sit and spend some time in your brain, you can think of some dope shit to be authored. And not just talk about niggas that you slept with. No, Brittany Renner, I don't need to read the book. I was on the phone with you every other day while you were sleeping with Colin Kaepernick. Why do I need to read a book? <laughs> okay. There's plenty to be said about that topic that just wasn't said. So to say that I'm saying things for shock value, no, be very clear. I went in there and didn't want to talk about your ass at all. <laughs> because I've seen you go through too many transformations, and that's really the conversation I think there is to be had here, is what people are doing in attempt to monetize their audience. That's the conversation to be had here. I remember when, uh, and I've never met Brittany, so I'm never going to talk negative about her, but I remember when she was such a, she had her, her boyfriend was playing. Her boyfriend was a football, a foreign football yeah. player, like foot, football, not yeah. football, NFL. Soccer to, <laughs> to us Americans. Yeah, I'm not trying to be funny. Football. That's the world's biggest, the world's biggest sport. I'm not trying yeah, to be yeah, funny. No, I, but I remember that time and she was like, she wasn't popular, but she was, you know. She was she gaining was steam. Yeah. She was the, the honorable, faithful, athletic, into soccer, cute black girl that niggas started following. You know, she got some attention, uh, started gaining popularity. Things didn't work out with her man. Uh, Did the workout thing. She kind of started the, the no, fitness she, IG thing. Let's not say start like Rosa Costa didn't exist. You're not that new, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> um, then she went on to be soccer woman by herself. Mm -hmm. Then she moved wherever, who knows. Then she turned into workout girl. Then she turned into the skit girl. Then she turned into, uh, I'm targeting athletes and artists. Because mm. you can say what you want about Joe. There's an entire community of women out there who are specifically targeting athletes and artists. Oh, no, that's a fact. You were that. Then you became that. See, that be the, all this other shit that people be doing, that's the side hustle until you catch one. Mm. So that's when I don't need to read your book to see all of the little oozy FaceTime vids that mir miraculously hit the Internet. I work under a different set of uh, set of rules and thinking. My thinking is when some hit the Internet, it's because, nigga, you wanted it to hit the Internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I think. I no longer think that shit is leaked by mistake. All no, no, no. no, those days are over. Those days are long gone. Yeah, those days are over. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Hello. Holy shit. It's the queen. Hi, Joe Biden. Hi, Jill Scott. Hi, Jill. How are you? Hi. Hey, Jill. Hi. It's Parks. What's happening? Uh, Parks. Park, Parks. How you doing, Jill? Shut up, Parks. The queen is on the phone. Jill. Yeah. What, what are you doing? Well, I'm studying. I'm in the middle of studying. When is your next show? <laughs> uh, right now I am shooting the first wives club for Paramount so when that finishes I got another film and then I'll start doing shows again Damn. listen can I ask can I ask you a question about this clip that has the internet going crazy but I want it I'm respectful of course is that a routine you do at all of your shows well um Mostly, I mean, it's it's kind of random. It's for different purposes each time. I would say that time I re I know when it was because it was uh, that was a dress I wore in Nashville. Mm -hmm. But that time was about 
uh, the things that you want to do, um, but you have to save them for the right person. Mm. Man. Not everybody, not everybody can get your A game, you know. Oh man, <laughs> the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, and and listen, I got I got a whole lot of uh, satisfaction out of your explanation because. That made a lot of sense, you know, yeah. couples going to the show and leaving, feeling a little more invigorated and inspired. Typically, that's how it happens. I usually say around the fifth uh, thrust, I need you to just say, thank you, Jill Scott. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Wait. Yo, Jill Scott is a queen. Oh my God. Are you single? No, no, <laughs> hell no. She laughs. She laughs. <laughs> she laughs. <laughs> she jokes in third person. Oh, no. Liz, all right, fine. I just want to come to the next Jill Scott show with, with my lady. That's all. That's all I want to do. I want to come I mean, at the next Jill Scott show. There's a lot of feelings. <laughs> there's a lot of, it's going to be a lot of feels every, every show. This is what I do. I tell stories. I sing songs. I play music that uh, invigorates it. Sometimes it stills people. Sometimes I see them crying. There's a range of emotions. You just have to be there for it. But people you say, know, but, is, but, y'all, mm-hmm. but people say y'all not supposed to like display those types of theatrics. Who says? I don't know the people. Society. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't say it. I don't say well, it. Well, well, if it's for a point, then I'll do it. That two hands move. <laughs> If it's for a point, listen, I got a lot of heroes, you understand? It's a lot of heroes. I'm not a one-dimensional woman. I I love Octavia Butler. And we love your dimensions, Ms. Jill Scott. Vanessa Del Rio, J. California Cooper. Jill Scott. Did you just throw Vanessa Del Rio in the middle middle of all of those names? (laughs) Salvador Dali. I mean, (laughs) yeah. That's a lot of names, Miss Scott. I got heroes. They, you know, they're rich, well, full people oh, who did amazing things. <laughs> I think I've and heard. Jay, and, and yes, Vanessa Del Rio is. I, I haven't met her yet, but I, I can't wait to. Jill. I have. Yeah. She's. I've been under her tutelage forever. So whenever they start using words like <laughs> tutelage, yeah. Have you? Have you? Uh, how often do you use Facetime? How often do I what? Use FaceTime, the, the uh, technology on the phone. Uh, not very often, just maybe with my kid. Got it, got it. So you're not into that group FaceTime feature that's out? No, no. Okay. I she, she still writes on paper. Oh, I got it, got it, got it. She still writes. I'm, uh, I, I don't have anything else to ask Miss Scott, man. You, you feel better? <laughs> Jill, I'm, I feel great. I mean, maybe not when I go home. <laughs> My girl gonna have a heart attack. But this was awesome, and I think that more people should watch this and get into this practice. I thought I it would. Think... I thought it would have been a different song, though. Let me say that. Well, do you know what song it was? Uh, yes, it was. Yes, I do know the song, but I have a brain freeze because you're on the phone. We were, it was like some kind of, um, we were having like an outro or something. Uh, it could have been a number of songs because there's, there's always a good time to put head in on the show. All right. <laughs> that was Jill Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us. Uh, save, my pleasure. save my number just in case in the future we, you know, podcast. Who knows? Listen, keep it up. I'm enjoying you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jill Scott. Appreciate it. Bye, Park. Bye, Jill. Oh, man. J- Jilly from Philly. Jill is one of my favorite people I've ever met in my life. I just want to say that. She's great. I think... I th- <laughs> we might need a break. I don't, I don't even break. know what to say. <laughs> I, think, I think we'll take a break. No, no, no. Somebody say something. Yeah, I got nothing now. We still don't know what her next show is. <laughs> and she, she, well, she's done and, with the filming. And, and she wasn't trying to tell us either. She's branching off into the filming. Uh, the I'm branching acting. off right now. Right. Acting shit. <laughs> Whoa. How old is Jill Scott? Say <laughs> Vaughn? Jill is great. Jill said the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this podcast. <laughs> That's not Jill. Well, so? She, she, wrote, no, she, she wrote it. No, I think it is her on the hook, and then Erica. No, no, Jill, it's Erica. Jill wrote Erica. it. Erica. It's Erica. Is that what it is? Yeah. 
and it, look at Quest. Well, I sneaking. think she has vocals on the song though, no. somewhere. No, she wrote. She might. Have, there might be a Maybe reference. Backgrounds or something. She wrote it. Erica did it, and then Eve did that little bridge shit. Oh, okay. Boy, y'all turn a future phone sex conversation into some nerdy production shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! To, Nobody asked who wrote flex. it. We didn't look for the credits. She was on the three. She, yeah. she just came in on the three. <laughs> God damn it. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Try, I'm trying to come on the three. Oh, the, the <laughs> queen <laughs> called. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, she is. Shout out to Jill. And I'm glad she called. What were we talking about before she called? Because it was something important. Oh, yeah. Uh, public figures and such. <laughs> I'm sweating Monetizing. Shit. Monetizing. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Brittany Renner. So, monetizing your audience. So back to low-hanging fruit coming through the crib and that being a lot of fun. Or did we pass that? We passed, we, that. We passed that. We're talking about now women, her journey and trying to monetize your following. Yeah, I thought that was a little cheap to say that I just say things for shock value. Am I that guy? Don't do that. Don't do that, <laughs> I, Brit. Well, I can see how people think that you are that guy. Brit, Brittany has spoken to me on far too many occasions. She, and, she, also, know, she know the depths of my brain. No, well, she's talking <laughs> about your platform. I don't think she's talking about you personally. My, the depths of my mind are on full display on my platform as well. Like, don't be biased toward the mind that I have when it pertains to you. Like, it's not fair. My my friendships or my affiliations or associations with people do not affect how I report on things. If Maul leave here tomorrow and write a tell-all book, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> but guess what? Maul, you a clown, my nigga. And you could have done right. something. Like, the block is not that bad. You're right. You're absolutely like, right. move, do something else different. I also right. don't think that, I'm not calling her a hoe, but a woman that writes a tell-all book, I don't think it's shock value if you call her a hoe. I don't think you're getting a headline. But there. I never called her a hoe. Like that, yeah, that's true. You I never, never called her a hoe. I think that's even if you did, I don't think that's shock value. It's not my place to call her or any other woman a hoe. Yeah, like it's not my place today. I'm only ta- I was only talking about the act of writing a tell-all book and changing the names of the different gentlemen that you've slept with. Mm-hmm. I don't need to read the book to know that that is what's occurring. I've seen a million articles telling me that that's what's occurring from people who have read the book. You think and, she could do better? And and not only that, people, you know. That's what I think. I don't think she should attack me because I think that she can do better than that. But that's another thing, though. Like, And that's what I take from when women move like that. I feel like that is part of their plan to put themselves in a position to where they can talk about. Yeah. Everything and put other good insurance business policy. out there. Yeah, it's like if it don't work out, I can always just yeah. And do I it think that's th- corny as fuck, like, super corny. And you're saying I said things for shock value. My greater point in that was even if you fucked Colin Kaepernick and everything was horrible, to decide to do that while that man is on the mission that he's on, it's just the timing yeah. of it. Like yeah. who you are and who I thought <clears throat> I knew you to be would at least respect the mission that he's on because it's greater than us. Yeah. It's greater than the the intimate relationship y'all had. It's greater than your objective with this book. Like mm-hmm. now is not the time to attempt to tear that man down. That's true. Well, I just agree. just that word you just used, intimate. Mm-hmm. But you know we in <laughs> a, we, we in a intimate. we Don't in a space now there. where men can't really feel empowered to say, "Hey, can you stop doing that to that man?" <laughs> like, why are you doing that now? Right. Somehow, I still got attacked in that. Maybe I, I went about the point wrong, but that point still stands to this day. If Rory writes a tell-all book, same thing. Me, same thing. Whoever does it, same fucking thing. Unless you just retired in Hawaii somewhere 90 years old, beaten, bored, like, fuck it, let me get this off before I kick the bucket. No, you a young, beautiful girl still. Yeah, but even even then, I feel like that is uh, a tell-all book, like... And in this, we left out the phase where she was running around with Shorty the porn star uh, doing all this fake porn yeah. bullshit. We left that out. So, I mean... I have no idea what you're talking Exactly. About. But women are going through all these different transitions. Ma, just because you delete your fucking Instagram, real niggas remember it. Oh, no, that's a Like, fact. chicks think that because they start from scratch on the Instagram <laughs> that now they're a whole new person. No, Brittany. I remember still. Well, your wholeness gets deleted, like the great Dre Michelle once said. <laughs> You know, no, when Drea deleted. said it, when Drea said it, it appeared like she was really trying to start anew. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it, it felt genuine. Like she was trying to get her businesses. She was popping. She was on TV. She, yo, all that shit I did. When I fucked all you niggas, I'm cool. No, nope, I ain't. It's like me saying no more exes. So I understand the the thought behind it. Mm-hmm. But 
No, I'm talking about the chicks that are really deleting every picture and trying to start whole new lives with new professions, with new clicks of friends. No, bitch, we remember the last click of friends last two months ago. Yeah, for sure. Like, why am I being attacked for just saying the truth about somebody that I spoke to in fucking many dark hours and depressed times? Like, now I sound like Michelle Williams' husband. Why I got to bring that up? Mm. Well, I think we can kind of sense that. I mean, you you can sense when people are trying to figure it out. And and you're screaming on the internet. You shouldn't be able to talk about me screaming on the internet. Yeah, you're doing sketch videos, <laughs> screaming. Kind of you're screaming. <laughs> and, and there's nobody else yelling. you're even talking to, Britt. You alone with your phone just yelling. Fam, people are not out in line for saying, hey, some shit is off. It yeah. don't mean people don't care about you when people say, that's this new era shit. Niggas can't tell nobody shit in the fucking new era without them wanting to tell you 20 things about you. Mm. No. Cool. Tell me everything about me after we finish talking about you. And don't wait until I say some shit about you for you to now magically have all this shit to say to me. It don't work like that. Boy, I hate that. Well, that is how it works. Oh, and please. that's where, and that's why. Oh, that's, please. That's why I posted what I said about the energy ain't mutual. And then you are gonna say all this shit on Van shit. Van a real nigga, so he called me last night to talk about it. My girl is there, so we could just get all that out the way early. Because when you hear some shit like this, it implies certain things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you hear, oh, Joe opened his doors for me. Uh, no, I never touched him. He didn't ever try anything. Like, what are you even? What are you talking about? None of that is has ever been the nature of our relationship. Like, don't say well, the wrong thing and then get the wrong girl mad and have me having to calm somebody down. <laughs> hmm. Like, bitches play too much. Relax. Here come Marissa sitting right there. It's the, anytime somebody talking bad about Joe, Marissa sitting right there. <laughs> I didn't even notice Marty was in that video. Hmm. So what were you saying, Maul, about low-hanging fruit and, and Brittany <laughs> Renner and whatever she had to say about Joe Budden? Brittany, I don't expound on things because we know each other and because I don't abuse my platform in that way. Everybody in the industry knows personal shit about everybody in the industry. Some people are responsible for with that information and some people are not. Mm. I'm addressing things that you have done in public. Not anything ever spoken about privately. Like I don't just don't understand the angle with people. Like niggas don't even know how to fucking love correctly. <laughs> Or be loved correctly. I'm not the yes man that niggas want to talk to. I'm sorry. Well, I just like to say, you know, I think as a people, we just need to come together. And, you know, when we see a low hanging fruit, pick that fruit and, and <laughs> put, take put care it in of the produce it. aisle. Yeah, and just take care of it. You know, there's nothing wrong with low hanging fruit. Some people are short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Little, short arms. Yeah, short arms. Yeah. I need the fruit to hang low. That's true. Don't have the energy to climb up the tree all the time. Yeah, I don't have a ladder. I'm not walking around with a ladder. Don't, don't have the time. Yeah. So, yes. Well, I do agree with a lot that you said, Joe. There's a lot of, you know, people out here doing things for monet- trying to monetize their, their, their platform. and But you can't lose, you know, integrity. And, you know, you got you to you do it with taste and with class. I always think that people be better than what they start showing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, like, I'm with I, you on I fall that. for the same trick every fucking time. Like I'm with you on that. That's just human nature. Sometimes you just, you know, you expect certain things from certain people, and when it doesn't happen, you're disappointed. But that's life. You know what I mean? Like my new shit is wanting to know what people parents think. Mm. Like, because I see a, a lot of the adults, we all screwed up, but we got to talk to our parents. Like. The, the ones that are fortunate enough to still have their parents in life. Right. Like, because I talk to my mom every day, every morning. Right. Yeah. If I was doing fuck shit every day, those but would be would tough conversations. <laughs> they would be tough con- Yes. But, but you <laughs> The gotta, Thanksgiving conversations wouldn't be so welcoming. <laughs> but Joe, on the flip side, a, a lot of these women, I don't think that their parents know the full extent of what they're doing. Because the parents aren't just on the internet like that daily. And even if they are, they don't, a lot of people that are on the internet a lot don't know what or, certain people or are Or some of their internet. parents are just as nuts as them. We that, see what Black China and her mother do on the internet all day. Yeah, that's another <laughs> That's another case. Yeah. Yeah. As just an example. I know a lot of kids that have really fucked up parents, and that's why they're fucked up. 
Yeah, and some parents will probably tell you, like, I knew my daughter was going to be doing this. She was doing this when she was 15. She she was crazy and wild, and, you know, it's like it's no shock to some of these parents I, that... I know, I know the houses my mom didn't like me hanging out at, and it wasn't because of my friend. Right. It was because of the environment of that household. Right. Mm. Stay the fuck away from them. Yeah. You don't I see it. I know, I know that child's mother. Right. Yeah. I know Stay away from that house. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I remember those. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with your friend. That kid didn't do anything. That kid is innocent. I like your friend. Right. Parents, fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't go over there. That right. kid can come here if he wants. Right. Joe saying nothing of substance. Tuh. <laughs> Why I oughta. <laughs> <laughs> I have about 17 mood musics. <laughs> Did she not hear the substance? <laughs> On the two parks? <laughs> substance On the two? My bad. <laughs> My bad, my nigga. What's yeah, next? Yeah, you man? be acting like what's next? <laughs> what's next? <laughs> you this? Just <What's, laughs> pause. <laughs> this, this brief intermission. Right, Won't bad. be acting like he wasn't jamming in none of the moon music's ever. That's why I don't like. Nah, you. I never said that. You I, never I said you act that like that, that sometimes. Never. Though. Hell no. I never said that. All right, you just never acknowledged nothing that might have been hidden. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all. Nah, just always the bad unmixed shit. shit. Nah, you put a lot of dope dope records out for sure. I, mean, I ain't gonna never play you like that. You see, the article called you the rap legend. I, I did. I did that's see the that. only part I was confused about. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused too. I didn't. I was like, I was like right, okay, put, now, the, put the sauce on it. Go ahead. Uh, I see we got some podcast success. Yeah, so yeah, now, yeah, now, now, now you, you want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how niggas. Look how quickly that shit changed. Yeah, but, but look, they yeah, give you the roses. Hey, fuck it. Hey, I'm not arguing yeah, with nah, him. I ain't, I ain't hit him back it. like yo. Yeah, yeah. The legend it's part. A typo. Yeah, like, yo, you ain't calling us the typo. Where's your editor? Yeah, like yo, it's a typo in there. No, I didn't do that at all. Listen, let's stay on Instagram shit for two seconds. Uh... Why does Future think he makes more money than Wendy Williams? Because niggas just be saying whatever. <laughs> Wait. Cause, 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 he cause, posted that on Instagram? Because well, no, I think he had a record where he said that line in. Oh. But I think he used that as a caption on one of his pictures. Oh, well. And, then, a, and, then, and then they put up Whitney Williams, uh, Wendy Williams' net worth versus Future's net worth. His was at $30 million, Hers was at 60. 60 with $15 million per year. And then he commented underneath and said, that's cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because once you say that's cap, it's cap. He said yeah. that's cap. Yeah, yeah that's cap. And yeah. she's sixty years old, older than me, so it don't matter. Yeah, I mean the net worth. So that is like, in fact for cap. what it's worth. That's it's cap. not <laughs> worth very much. It's not worth very much. <laughs> I, I agree. With and you. you're lying. And, and your and your that's cap is cap. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Wendy Williams future, makes a lot of money. Future might be the Michael B. Jordan of rap. I've only heard about four <laughs> things come out of Future's mouth outside of a record in my life. Yeah, he doesn't do. He doesn't. He doesn't do. When was the last time you heard Future talk? Like I've that. never heard yeah. a Future interview. Actually, I've heard one, and, and we, that's when he said it was sensational, and that was the only thing he said, and it went viral, and that was the last interview I've ever seen from Future. When he was talking about cheesecake, I think so. He yeah. went out on top. Pause. This. Why would Future think he makes more money than Wendy Williams? He's probably making a lot of money. You're capping right now, and you hating. That's true. Isn't that what capping is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just want to double check. I was saying. Now capping right. is lying or, or talking shit. And okay. this and this is no cap. Yeah, this is no cap. <laughs> but who gets to determine when it's cap and when it's not cap? No, all these niggas is cap. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to say all of them were cap. Because we don't know what. Yo, you know what? I, I had this brilliant epiphany over the weekend. Why do we be looking for real shit in the entertainment business? That's, that's <laughs> a very good point. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, uh, the most successful people in entertainment business are the ones that give you the allure that they are giving you like real shit. It's all that, entertainment, gonna, man. Yeah, but if you can master making it seem like we're giving you real shit. It's all perception, the entire thing. Yeah. Rappers know good and goddamn well exactly how successful Wendy Williams is and why. Yeah, but you got to remember, Joe, a lot of people place success on, you know. Popularity. Not only popularity, but they, 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 they base it on materialistic things. That's so true. Wendy Williams is not riding around in a wraith wearing <laughs> diamonds every day and all of this. It's like you think she ain't really getting money. That's true. You know what I mean? That's just that's just our culture. That's how we view people that's really getting money. You have to look like you're getting money. See, I wasn't trying to have a deep podcast. I was saving this for my financial podcast that I'm probably never going to start. But you and Leo? now that I have to, now that I'm just learning a little bit about the world and taxes and money and society and shit like that boy these rappers are these rappers are crazy <laughs> oh yeah these rappers yeah, are man. no but no 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 no, <laughs> yeah. no 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 once you know what the fuck are these niggas doing Captain? 
<laughs> if they stop capping, we can change the world. What no. are you doing with your money? No. It's more, more fun to act like Scott You Scotch. have to do something yeah. different with your you guys. You guys are not getting the tax breaks that you should at that level of income. Because you're not owning here, here the shit Joe's that you should own. This is four, four, four. Yeah, was, this shit no, no, this is his yay shit. He's becoming a Republican. <laughs> Y'all don't see it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he hinted. He this ain't his four four four. This is his Joe life of Pablo. Oh, yeah. shit. How this convenient is, is that? Wow. How convenient Joe, is that? Joe, if you show here with a red hat dead. on, uh, yeah. It's just disappointing to me. It's disappointing to me. That's he's gonna have, I, he's again, gonna have the Trump I want, fedora. I'd be wanting better for change people. Change the brim. I hate when these niggas start feeling their jokes. All right. <laughs> what y'all said? No, go ahead with your serious shit. I, no, I agree. Rappers do need to hear this. They do need to hear this, Joe. You're right. And I now agree. I feel the way because they white and talking over. <laughs> <laughs> they go right to that. Like, yo, hey, y'all, like, you know, y'all don't even know my struggle where I come from, like, really. Now I'm so. trying to spread the message to my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah. niggas making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, my joke was about Scott Storch's Take a little wife. break. Now I'm mad now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you, are you know, there's nobody else sick of seeing Takashi and Scott Storch in the studio, honestly. Tell the truth. No, I think it's hilarious. Those are the funniest, most <laughs> awkward videos I've ever seen. Yeah. I haven't seen them. I gotta, I gotta, Anytime I, I see Scott, catch up. Them niggas is I the Scott same niggas. Storch, I, I laugh, though, just because he's just so like... <laughs> now, the Scott Storage getting a haircut while playing the piano was the most epic shit I've ever seen in my entire Nah, he's a legend. <laughs> you ain't seen he's Papoose a legend for the get good a shape up with a fitted on. <laughs> Papoose was doing that. You never seen Papoose get a shape up with the fitted on? No. That was, listen, legendary, my nigga. <laughs> Did not take that hat off. It got a, got, was in the barber chair. Had the cape and everything on already. Legendary. I'm not and saying. Maybe just maybe just getting a little taper. Put the hat on. Could have could have left the hat on. <laughs> just getting the sides touched up. Pap is crazy. <laughs> For all the shit niggas say, Pap is definitely one of the rappers. I think that could still beat up a lot of you other rappers. He's on my list. Beat though. up a lot of rappers. One hundred percent. Yep. Okay. Well, I have a theory that seventy eight percent of rappers can't fight. Right. I agree. Yeah. Like whenever you see rappers like in a, a situation where they have to do like physical. Activities like sport, sports, Just yeah. You're like, in general, like yeah. yo, fan, he can't fight. Their athletes are a little yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, you could talk that gun shit in your raps, but you can't fist fight. Yeah, pa- Papoose is really in the yard doing pull ups and dips right now. <laughs> Why <While> we podcasting? <laughs> <laughs> we behind? We lacking? Yeah, See, Papoose could fuck Drago's son up. <laughs> For real. For real. I went to Remy's baby shower. I won't talk about it here, but it was great. It was a really great baby shower. Yeah, did you do push-ups? No. Oh, you think I'm Justin Bieber, nigga? Wrong JB. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong JB. <laughs> you think I'm Justin Bieber? Why Parks trying to play Nobody me? Nobody ever mistook, Wrong JB. mistook Joe oh for Justin God. Bieber. Parks just asked me if I was doing push-ups at Remy's baby shower. Yeah. Well, you implied that yeah, Pap is always doing push-ups. N- no, I wasn't. Maybe that was your entry fee. No, <laughs> I didn't have an entry fee. <laughs> What's up with you niggas today, Wrong man? Wrong JB. <laughs> me? I'm chilling. <laughs> I don't even remember where we was at. We was at Remy's. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not talking about it. Was beautiful baby shower though. Beautiful baby shower though. Oh shit! At that baby shower, this is what I will talk about. I had a nice long talk with Allen Houston, man. Allen Houston from the Knicks. Yep. It's a random. What's the? How was Allen Houston at Remy's <laughs> baby shower? Okay, let me be the first person to tell you. Everybody who I didn't think should be at Remy's baby shower was at Remy's baby shower. That's interesting. Allen Houston at her baby shower. Was everybody was at everybody was at Remy's baby shower, and I'm not really the nigga to show up places because I just like staying home. But I really fuck with Remy, so I went. And Everyone I loves like, Remy, and, I and said, you, you Ubered. And that's what I noticed when I got there. Some some of the people that were there, I didn't even feel like Remy loved them so much. I just <laughs> felt like, you know, they really loved Remy. Same reason I was there. Uh, they made everybody lock their phones up, so I like that. That's dope. There that was, was great. There was some like new. Device pocket you couldn't oh, unlock the it. Thing that you, when you I like, I like, I like that thing. Somewhere. I like that thing. Yeah. Uh, so I end up talking to Allen Houston. Somehow I always find myself in a basketball conversation, and I tap him. I say, uh, and and then I tippy toe. Mm. I was gonna leave that part out of the story, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's right. it cool. Were your ankles out when you were tippy toeing? Um, what did I have? I don't remember, Rory. Okay. I'm, enough of your jokes today. <laughs> no, I really just asking. <laughs> well, I don't remember. Uh, so I tap him and I tippy toe and I I put my mouth close to him and I pause and I say, "Have you seen any Duke games?" <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you don't give a fuck about the Knicks anymore, man. Back on your Zion crush. <laughs> and he said, "Yeah, I seen a couple." I said they only played a couple. 
They only played <laughs> one at that point. Uh, no, they played the Army. They played Army oh, in the second that, game. Okay. Uh, so, uh, they played the Army. <laughs> nah, listen, the, the Army. No, I just what's the other me. one? Harvard? One of them, you let them little white boys start shooting them threes, and you're going to lose, nigga. I, mean, I knew Army was going to lose, but they was only down six at one point. So I start saying to him, hey, man, we need one of them niggas. And what are y'all doing? I'm talking to him like he's still on the Knicks. I was going to say, though, I don't think he gives a fuck <laughs> No, he's, he's in the, the front Knicker office. Bucker. He works with the, he's in the front office. I didn't even know he's in the front office. With the G League team. No, he's in the front office. He does some shit. But, uh, and he starts beating me down about, I can't believe I was face-to-face with a nigga. I always hear this from the television analyst experts, and I couldn't believe I was face-to-face with a nigga saying this stupid shit to my face. He said, no, man, when the players don't go out there and compete... <laughs> Like, when you don't go out there and practice winning habits and winning traditions, you don't really build a winning formula. Mm-hmm. I said, yo, if you don't get the fuck out of here with this shit you talking, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Compete media, for what, media. nigga? So funny part about what all the this, hell are you saying, Allen Houston? But, but the funny part about all this is you initiated the conversation. Right. Now you want Allen Houston to get the fuck out of here. Because what the fuck is Allen Houston t- telling me about? Competing. The Knicks are competing to do what this year? You're right. Hey, you guessed it, Mr. Houston. Nothing. Right. And don't tell me about competing. You niggas are sitting Kevin Knox out and Przingis for the next three years. Stop, stop telling me you're trying to win. First of all, Joe, you just, no. You got small talked. The way if someone came up to you at a baby shower, is like, yo, you think big is top five? Like, you just <laughs> gonna give some regular answer to get the conversation over with. You oh, were just, you were small talking. Well, it didn't and work. And he's good at getting out of small talk. Didn't work, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, 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 some type of way. I, had, I had 90 more points to get into <laughs> He didn't know this was podcast Joe In the corner of Remy Ma's fucking baby shower Where you gonna get these iron bars nigga I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see where the franchise is thinking is So I can go on my podcast and say A source with familiar thinking to <laughs> Yeah <laughs> So anyway, uh, he went on to say they're going to try their best and whatever they get. We're going to try the best. Yeah, yeah. he, he small talked you. He got to say that. He got to say that. Because he knows that you have a podcast. You know what? Now that y'all say that, I felt like I was being brushed off a little bit. Yeah. That pulled, sounds like pulled, the brush off Pulled the name out of my pocket and dropped it on the floor. <laughs> did, did he see the name on the floor? Ooh, and he bit. <laughs> <laughs> he picked the name ooh, on the floor. <laughs> ooh, now, now I wasn't tiptoeing. <laughs> Now he was bending down a little bit. I said, you know what? I bumped into Jimmy over the yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bumped into. Hey, you, know bumped Moore, into. you know how Moore dropped a Stanley on us? I hit, I hit Alan with the, bumped you know, funny you say that. Yeah. Bumped into Jimmy over the summer. Had Think it was late August. Had a talk late to him. Uh, yeah. He said, Oh, well, really? What was he thinking back then? Uh, gotcha. <laughs> what are you guys <laughs> thinking about Zion? God I had a good talk with him. So shout out to Allen Houston. That is a random uh, nice Shout out to Lil' Kim. Shout out to everybody that I saw. Fat Joe, everybody that was at Remy, uh, Remy's baby shower. Really that fun baby cool. shower. Uh, it was grease themed. Oh, that's dope. It was grease themed. So Sin put up a picture of her and I, she just failed to mention that it was a theme thing we were doing probably because that was secret information and niggas just started flaming my fit again. <laughs> I get in the worst predicament when <laughs> niggas be flaming my fit. Like, why you can't just tell them it's a theme? <laughs> yeah, in that case, it would have Come on, in man. In that case, it would have yeah. Here comes Joe Button Fitz page. Hey, got his best fits. <laughs> it's like, nigga, shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Ice has been wilding with that page. I'm sick of Ice. That's definitely Ice. Go on, what you got for us, Roars? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going off your list here. Oh, uh, now, nah. yeah, I so, hate niggas like Rory. Just say it, say it good, so we have a great topic. Don't preface it with, nah, this one might be from your list. <laughs> no, because I want to. <laughs> Young and May took voice lessons. Really? Was there a video of some sorts? I, I didn't see this one. I got you right now. Is my this, dude. is this the new rebrand? I got you right now, my guy. She How does she, is she doing like the ooze? How does she in sound? voice lessons? Go ahead. No, no, na 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 na. All right. La na. Yo, what's yo, you went, yo, you can't yo, even. Son, why yo, you, you gotta like, start off easy, Paul. Yo, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yo, gonna let the high Oh, wait. 
Oh, baby. She got an R&B hand Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, listen. Listen. So, nah, young M.A., come on. Nah, you guys didn't see her her vocal hand. She was doing like anytime she went up, she was, she was doing that. <laughs> I saw the vocal. Now hands. Rory is our young and May insider. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. We Take do it away, have Rory. a okay. <laughs> Take it away, please. <laughs> Far away. Take this away. Take this away. And never bring this it is back. All you. This is all you, Rory. Now you escorted young and May into <laughs> to do say Palooza, Coney had- Island, and protected her <laughs> yeah. and made sure she was safe from from harm. <laughs> and then you walked true. her to her vehicle I did two miles that. away. <laughs> no, her she, and all of her goons, but you protected all 70 of them. Mm-hmm. Of course. I saw it. I was there. The same way Maul took his watch off and I was there. Y'all act like I wasn't there for shit, but I'd be there sometimes. <laughs> Rory, what is Young and May doing? Is she giving us Dage Loaf vibes? Where is Dage Loaf? <laughs> <laughs> like, I have so many questions. Y'all don't she miss was Dage Loaf? at Duce Palooza, not this last day. Dage Loaf is dope. Dage Loaf. Yeah. Was just out of Palooza. How'd she do? Pretty good. Oh, she and performed at Deuce Palooza? Not this last one. She, she I haven't heard two no, LA's ago. I haven't no, heard But anyways, no. Young and May is See, just trying to go. Wait. See, that's why I hate <laughs> niggas like Parks. Why? I started this with, hey, what happened to Days Loaf? All y'all left me on the island. Nah, we fuck with her. We love her. I do nah, that's her. our bitch. Just to end with, damn, nah, I really did. What happened? Where's the music? <laughs> like, I really fucked well, with her. What happened? Rory she, telling um, us about the black. I just seen her at the last club. Like, nigga. Nah, she put out. And she put out me. a single that didn't connect that was like really dope. Cause that's the I one. hate all you niggas. <laughs> Y'all be saying the same shit I be saying, just differently. Don't Google nothing now. <laughs> I forgot the name of the record. It was good. All right, back to Day Jamay. Day Jamay. <laughs> Day Jamay. That's actually a dope name. She's Don't trying, you think that's where she's trying to take us? She's trying to grow as an artist. Yeah. Shit, everybody else singing poorly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like you could you could do these anything R&B right singers now. out here. You take the auto tune off. You think they're gonna sound better than that? Listen, no, no, no I'm not. If Young May wasn't already right. already taking all our chicks, don't let her get in her her R and B bag. <laughs> Start riffing. She's yeah. gonna. No, she's so, taking every girl out here. No, 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 no. Tiana Taylor is taking sin. <laughs> not, <laughs> not Young and May. <laughs> Shit. You never know. I didn't let you tell it. You're Not dying for me to leave. No. Why you say that, bro? Because <laughs> I'm leaving if Young no. and May breaks up my happy happy home. Well, you in think that, I'm a, in you, that you case, think you I, would have no, no choice. No, you think I'm going to stay and work it out? <laughs> you, you would try. He would. You would definitely you try. You try to grow braids. Yeah. <laughs> but look, I could get braids, too. <laughs> nah, see? Nah. <laughs> Just picture a Joe with braids. Man. That's some funny Joe shit. Joe had braids. Really? I had braids. I need a picture of that. I had braids. I had twists. That's when I really thought I was killing him. You just trying to get dreads? Actually, no. I just really like twists. Yo, I got to see a picture. I got <laughs> Don't exist. Is that no, Google? What no Instagram? Nah, mom's yo, got it. Yo, Joe Button fits. Go find that photo for mom's us. Mom's got it. <laughs> I had gray hair at one point. Gray hair? Was this like the I'm Cisco? I'm telling era? you, when I was 14, 15, man. Oh, you okay. died it. Crazy. You yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You blonde were, hair. You were ahead of the curve. Blonde beard. I was trying to figure it out. Blonde beard? Blonde yeah. beard, I would like to see. Niggas knew I was nice with my hands, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I have to say. Like, I would imagine you would have to. You got to put that out there? Because I'm saying it now, and it sounds wild, but like. Back then it was like, oh shit, mouse bugging. It wasn't like. Did you have the blonde beard time. with the. <laughs> it wasn't tease time. Did you have tease. blonde twists? No. Okay. Oh, maybe I thought maybe you oh, started so, that way. Yeah, I said like, no. Yeah, you said gray hair. I said no. No, we're trying to copy me as an innovator. He said no. Keep saying what I said. Yeah. It's okay. They keep going. I'm going to find that picture, though. <laughs> There's <laughs> no <laughs> picture. I go to mom's crib. Mom's be having the bullshit. <laughs> Everything. Everything is at mom's And they be room. waiting to show it. Yeah, for yep. sure. Like, that on, album Mom. coming out. She pulling out that photo album. Not at all. What, where's my phone at? Let me see what else is important here. Y'all niggas is real stupid, man. Honestly. This is fun. So you guys are not copying the Young and May R and B album. Well, she she sounds like she needs a, a few more lessons. I don't want to hear nobody crooning to me and then stopping to say "Yo, son." <laughs> I don't want to hear that from Casey and JoJo. <laughs> like but young Brownstone. Young May sound like she got mad at her own vocal cords. Like, yo, why is she not doing it? Son? Like, 
Like, yo, why is not doing that? Yeah, nah, that's you, ma. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that is you. Damn. I saw an old clip of uh, her and Tim vocals with a fire little collab tape. That's a sick ass name, bro. We just dropped. <laughs> y'all don't know, know Tim vocals? I have no idea. Who up. Oh, I'll put y'all on. Tim vocals is fire. He'd be remixing all the R&B records into Gun Records, but he could actually really sing. Oh, I heard a few of his his croons. Yeah. He's oh, dope. no, he is kind of nice. No, he's, he could actually like, really <laughs> yeah, sing, bro. No, I like him. <laughs> no, Tim Man, you put nice. me on Tim vocals. I think I did, yeah. Uh, I was about to talk about... Oh, I saw a video of... I click on anything that's from the 90s and the 80s. <laughs> I'm just a sucker. But it was a video. It was a live performance of the song You Will Know. Do you remember that song? Yes. Every dope R&B singer was on that song. Mm-hmm. But in the video, <laughs> Levert was killing them niggas. <laughs> All right, for the young people, I'm saying Stokely from Mint Condition was on that song. Mm-hmm. Brian McKnight what was, was on that, that song. Brian McKnight, I don't remember. Brian McKnight was on that song. One of those black. <laughs> was it Black Panther? Was it Panther? No, no. no. This was man long ago. You tell me about Black Panther. <laughs> not the mo- not the Marvel movie Panther, the, the movie that came out before. Oh, here, Black Men Unite. Jason's Lyric. Oh, Jason's Lyric. That's what it was from. Ah, uh, don't try to act like... This one you was in the choir too, Maul, so don't do that. Nah, for sure. No, nah, actually, no. This was before I was in the choir. This was... This was before you was in the choir? I was, yeah. High school was the choir. This was, this was like 92. 92. Tevin Campbell was on here. Everybody is on here. We are, But I did in, high, in, in junior... I might have been in junior high. We, we did this at a talent show, though. They had all of like the, the um. Boys which one? Which one were you? Oh, wait! Wait, Tevin was the nigga too. What up, Brian McKnight, Stokely, all these singing that. Lavert was not supposed to be the one to just crush everybody with the old man voice. Rest in peace, Lavert. Hold up. You hear Tevin, right? Lavert, grown man. Hold up. I don't think that was that wasn't Tevin. That was Tevin. No, it wasn't. Who was it? I think that was uh, the dude from... Um, that that's, was Tevin, nigga. That's Stokely right there. This is Stokely. I th- I that, that was, was Levert. This is Brian. I brought this single. <laughs> <You're> te- <laughs> I don't think that was Tevin when you said it, though. It- oh, that was Tevin. <laughs> no, nah, that wasn't Tevin either. That was... Uh- that's Stokely again. They got a video for this shit. We can just put a video. I know exactly who it is in the video. But my point is, Levert should not kill all those people with Why the old not? man's strong voice. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. See? That's the time That's exactly. Shit. That's that soul. Levert soul going to always bad. prevail. Always. You know what that reminds me of? You know, actually, this is going all the way back to our intro song with that Call Me Tweet shit. If these new artists, like, really knew their R&B, we would get a lot of a lot of great music today. Like oh, yeah. the, these new niggas, like they're doing something because it's trendy, but they don't really know R and B at all. <laughs> just like just... when like when Tory came through for us to do uh, flex before we knew anything that we were gonna do. I wanted to flip some shit, mm-hmm. so I was like, "Yeah, man, it's a couple men condition." And he was like, "Uh, who? What? I said, don't worry about it." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, in his press run, I was just watching that he had never heard that Brownstone record. Until after it was done. Like, he didn't know that was a sample. They don't be knowing the big records. So, I mean, if but they that, actually knew the records that they should be flipping, who? But that's just awkward for for an artist to do a record with a sample and a flip and not know the original. Like, if I, I mean, once I'm hearing it, I would want to hear the original. Like, yo, let the me catch hear 22 this. with the kids now is if it sounds dope, let's do it. Sometimes that takes away from integrity and musicianship and all that other bullshit. But, but sometimes it's like, yo, that shit sound dope. Let's do it. That goes back to what I was saying about this era, it being easier to get on and pop than it was in the era oh, before. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm just saying, it is. Every, we always bring something up where it's a clear indication that it's easier today. I don't think that's an indicator, but... That is an indicator. What's an indicator? How an artist could not, one, really, truly be able to really sing anymore. You don't even need to know how to do that anymore. You don't need to even know music anymore. That's true. It's not an indicator that it's not a, it's not proving you to be correct, but you're right in saying that. There's very few artists, R and B specifically, from the nineties 
back that got on and didn't know music and couldn't really sing? More, well, we be saying the same thing. I think we just conclude differently. Because of what you're saying, I think it's harder today. And you're saying, no, that kind of lends to your point that it's easier. I think the fact yes. that nobody can make music and still be in music today makes it harder for niggas that know how to make music. No. I know. I know you disagree. No. So I was saying for, for people to get on, period. It's easier today. That's what I'm saying. Who do you, who do you think were the last uh, artist or era of artists that did know their R&B? Maybe like Chris and Trey Songs would be the last of, of that? Yeah. Chris. I mean, like big, big artists I'm talking. Not obviously some underground dudes that are dope, but like big pop artists. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I think, I think, um, I think Bieber knows knows music though, because he he plays. So yeah. I, would, I would I would I would I would have to think that he's musically inclined. Like, he, well, I think I think he was just because he was so young, he was kind of forced to learn music. <laughs> Whether he like was he forced so or not, I'm just saying he I knows. Think he does, yeah. You think the music in, in, in Watts allow him to know about music? <laughs> <laughs> I think that helped him in Watts. Right. Honestly, I'm just checking. They started playing some shit. Like, you notice he started singing like, yeah, I know that. And if he didn't, it would have been a long way out of Watts. <laughs> Drake is teasing a new album. Have you seen all the uh, Nas shit that he's been putting up? He's put up like little... I saw some cryptic... He's doing some cryptic some shit cryptic again. Some cryptic shit, yeah. He's, he does a lot of that cryptic shit, so I'm yeah. trying not to read into it until he gives us a little more. But Drake says he's, he's dropping an album in 2019 early. He said that? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what well, Maul told us that man long ago. Insider Maul. Yeah. You know Maul's over you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's not... And Tory said he's dropping a new Chicks tape soon. And while I'm really looking forward to that, it's got to say something when you're promoting something that you're going to put out when you just put your album out. Yeah, he just came out. Yeah, like two weeks ago. So Tory does what Jacquees is trying to do, but better. One hundred percent. But how? I think that's why taking Jacques... records and flipping them. Yeah, but Tory kind of focuses more on the older shit. Mm. Well, not old, but but he my, does old to me. Stuff. He doesn't flip it as much. Right? No, he, yeah, it's more he flips it. sample Tory? based. Yeah. He not changes. Park's point, I think it's more sample based. Yeah, sample oh, yeah. based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He Definitely flips sample. the song and flips the hook. He changes the verse, but mostly just flips the chorus. Okay. Jacque kind of keeps Jacquees kind of keeps the same, yeah. Songs. But he, he changes and the words and the newer yeah. songs and yeah. those it's are freestyles. Really He's more like a Tory. Cent. Tory yeah. flips, yeah. yeah, chops and screws it, right? And those are great projects. Like he's built the following just for those projects. Some, some like me, even more so than probably his albums at this point. Uh, that's how I heard about Tory. Jacquees, like that nigga on stage running around doing tripping stuff. I'm cool, like. <laughs> <laughs> See, but Jacquees is backwards. I really enjoyed his album and thought he should be like pushing that. Yeah. Instead of, you know, you dropped your album, nobody really gave it the energy I probably felt it deserved. And then you went on with this tripping shit, fought with her, like you did some other covers, like Well hopefully nah. he would have another album to follow that. Like it's backwards in that you should do all the freestyle shit going into Pre. the album so that people would be Or do it to push to put push attention to your album. Right. Drop a I mean, video a, or something. Yo, a lot of artists kind of live and die by their mentions. Like, they see what gets the most traction. They see what viral videos go. They see what they think. It's a short game way of thinking, but all right, if that's working, fuck my album. Yeah. Let me go remix some other shit. Right. Because that just had every girl on Instagram talking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that must be my move now. Yeah, well, you throw shit out there and you see what's going to land, what's going to stick, and you take it from there. And you're like, oh, okay, this is what they want, then this is what I'm going to give them. And I think that's the box that Jacquees kind of got painted into. Before we get to uh, before we get to um, a new Drake project, uh, Trey Song snuck a record out two weeks ago that I enjoyed. I purchased that record. I only highlight it because for mad years I'm saying, why don't Trey Songs collaborate with some of the newer R and B niggas? And this song is featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Tory Lanez. Good song. The new Drake record? No, the new Trey Songs record. Oh. Um, but I was getting somewhere after that. Okay, the Drake record. Before before we get into that, when are we gonna have a real conversation about party next door? Let's have it now. Where's party next door? Next door. At the party. <laughs> 
I think party is in No, nah, the music the most they they lowered the music over there. <laughs> yeah. I they haven't see had people over. In a, someone's in a running while. around picking up the empty, empty uh, beer cans. They're cleaning up. Well, I will say this: you so are our this, OVO party this insider. Is just, this is just my theory. Rihanna was on social media posting a picture in the studio. Video, I mean, a video in the studio, no the sound. Yeah, party has been known to write for Rihanna. Maybe that's what party is. Well, that's a reach, but. I'm just, right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's a reach. I think that's very, very much fathomable. I just don't think it answers my question. Mm-hmm. I'm not really looking for think, what he's, he's doing as a writer at well, the moment. Well, that's what my, my, my answer. That's to that been is. our beef. Yeah, I, think, I think he's just writing. I'm he's sure. not focusing on his own material. You, I think that his career in general is more focused on writing and yeah, he's just trying is something that he does. Yeah, he's trying to. Well, maybe he focused at the wrong time because he was definitely building up a pretty strong fan base, like a core fan base. Because even when he was touring, he was doing well, was selling out, and then it just kind of plateaued to the point that I think his last few have kind of been duds. But my thing with and even his is, core I, fan bases are, are complaining. But I, I feel like with him, he's he's only one record away from. Oh, I don't think it's being over. Right for back in the main conversation with people like. So I don't think I don't put too much that he's been quiet. I don't think it's like I think he's just busy doing other okay. shit. And if he drops a dud on the next one, where does that leave him? Um, he got to get back to what he does best. The fact that he wasn't featured so as much as I would have thought on Scorpion mm-hmm. worries so me. Especially with the whole B side being R and B. Yeah, it worries me as a party fan that's looking to hear him more as an artist like get into his artist bag and develop more in that area rather than the writing aspect yeah but if you're making all the money that he's probably making as a writer with all these hit records are you gonna stop and work on your own shit no i don't, I don't think so probably not and not only I mean it, yes i am yeah <laughs> yes i am yeah i don't know, yes, I am. I don't I don't think know so. especially with that build-up i had already because once you put your own music out, you didn't have to promote that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go to push do that interviews, you gotta do all that shows, shit, that shit like that. Like it. it takes a lot of time away from. Then, well, no one. I'm Romeo not disagreeing really with that. Then tell me that hey, I'm I'm getting comfortable comfortable in my position as a writer, and I that's where I'm gonna be. But that's not how I was introduced to party. I was introduced to party with Drake telling me I got some shit coming. It's gonna blow your fucking world. This kid, these niggas, craziness. Mm-hmm. And then a project dropped, and it was exactly what he said. It was craziness. And then if you wrote some shit from Drake from there, great. You wrote some shit for Rihanna. Whoever you wrote for from there, great, cool. But that's not how I was introduced. I was introduced by you smacking niggas in the head with not one, but two really great projects. Mm-hmm. I would like to hear more parties. I mean, is this selfish fan shit for me? Probably. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. But I understand what you're saying, though. Because like, I, I feel the same way. Like I definitely want to hear more stuff from him because I listen to a lot of his shit but I think you know just to answer your question like I said he's I think he's probably just you know back on his writing bag party if you're listening Joe Budden misses you and would like to hear from you you soon not your pen but you and then that's the other thing it just feels like with this sound rocking currently like how could how do you go quiet now I mean yeah. that's true. There's you, something you that's happening this that whole I, sound to begin there's with. something happening that we do not know. And I mean not that we should be privy, but it don't make sense. 2 and 2 don't don't make 4. It's quiet for too long. Hmm. I agree. Then you pop back up on a few features here and there last year. Nah, I don't feel like his base was solidified enough to just bounce for just be quiet that long. And and I miss him. Yeah. Maybe I'm just that, talking. That last one he put out was what 2017, the seven day shit. Mm. No, the last one he put out was the shorter project. Colors, colors two. Was it colors? colors I thought that was before that. the seven days, but I just 2018. It's been very quiet, which is cool because I mean he's not the loud artist. But colors two EP was 2017. I like that. I like that EP a lot. And that was the one uh, that was four songs, 18 minutes, low battery. That was around the time. That's 2017. Is around unforgettable. Mm-hmm. Party next yeah. door three. Oh, seven days is 2017 too. That came yeah, think, after that. Yeah, I think that was his last project. This is the last project. That was the one OVO he had that, sound that uh, video Warner for Brothers. with um 
What video was that he had? I don't even know where they play videos anymore, to be honest. I don't know. But this is YouTube. It. Yeah. Better man Rick Roll, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I just miss party. Fuck it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, mean, uh, I think people, a lot of people feel the same way, and people are definitely waiting. So that, that's a good thing. You know what the thing is? Like, there's, there's, there's a, there's, uh, there's like an oversaturation of new music today. Like, there's no way to hear all the new music that comes out. It's just impossible. So, like, I'm very careful of what artists and musicians I, I get invested with. <clears throat> And when I get invested, I want to hear these niggas. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Don't make me now have to go search and find a whole new dude. Well, I would say, man, I would say, I would say, I would say to counter that though, it's kind of nice when the artists that you do actually like don't flood as much because they will get lost in the shuffle of that's, all the other that's shit. That's independent of what I'm saying. I love that. Right now, we just talking about the niggas that go quiet and don't return. Right. <laughs> Or are not consistent even on the yearly or bi-yearly, whatever you want to do. If Party came out every other year with an amazing project, right. Joe shuts up. I don't have nothing to say. Like, I don't want you to uh, dilute your content, like, just to please fans. No. I just want you to put out some content. Yeah. I hear you. All right, whatever, man. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm with you. Let's see. That's party uh, streaming farms. That was a really big deal to you guys. No, I don't think it was. I'm, a I'm big not. Deal. It was, I'm not certain why. That shit been happening for a while, bro. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. No. I know Kaz had bought Matt Xboxes just to get it, shit popping. It poppin'. was just funny that watching the video and looking at the farm, <laughs> <laughs> the visual of the farm. It's like looking at an actual farm, it, seeing yeah. how you're. That was like the small well, yo, farm too. Yo, add yeah. us, add us to the farm, B. That was the small farm. Right. I want I want fans to know that part. Yeah. That them little twenty five rows of phones. <laughs> that was life. All right. Y'all got Interscope fucked up. <laughs> Go to the basement. <laughs> if y'all if y'all think that's what's happening in some of these labels, y'all got all the whole game fucked up. And they kill him. Listen, why you think we see... Y'all don't think it's strange every other week that the streaming records are broken and new song does this and like it's it's by design, you know? Yeah, <laughs> or when an artist just seems to pop out of nowhere and they've got 500 million plays. Selena Gomez just broke Drake's record of all time, whatever, streams. I don't, who's listening to that? <laughs> well, she's got a lot of fans, but... And a lot of streaming farms. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot of streams. Her she high high she, she has a lot of fans you. and a lot of farms. <laughs> Fams and farms go together. <laughs> yeah, I'm not rolling with that. <laughs> fucking Selena Fans Gomez. with farms are really... Fans and farms. Take things to the next level. Well, that's when these fucking 14-year-olds figure out how to become billionaires quick. <laughs> Start <laughs> farming. <laughs> these, young, these young niggas are coming up with some shit in their rooms. Um, Maul had a topic. I love Maul topics. <laughs> it's kind of dark. Well, it's very we, dark. We, we've had a few dark <laughs> moments dark. here on this podcast. Let me cue up outstanding just in case. Uh, and I don't even know how Maul comes up with this stuff sitting in front of his little entertainment system <laughs> with the curved TV. I just noticed that Maul is that corner. Oh, you got the curved TV? Yeah, but he, right. he's always trying to show us that it's curved. Oh, he does, he does the right angle? Even, yeah, like, I'm like, come, you see come on, Maul. How could you come, see that? It's cool, my G. Because you're holding the phone against the side of the TV. Yeah, where's curved? <laughs> I'm choking. <joking. laughs> what? Yeah, we, we can see it. Uh, how long should you wait to date after your spouse or significant other passes away? Yeah. How did your very it's dark, twisted brain topic. even get there? Well, because, you know, I mean, I, I have I had friends and, you know, people that have passed away. That were either married or had a girlfriend or, you know, and it's like, how long after you pass? Because it's, we don't really talk about it, but I know the family definitely looks at the girlfriend like, oh, she couldn't wait to get into a new relationship or, you know what I'm saying? Or he couldn't wait or, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, well, how long exactly were they supposed to grieve and, 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 and wait to move on? Because life does go on. People be a little irrational when it comes to that. In, yeah. in my mind, you should probably... Shouldn't be any longer than 30 years. Right. <laughs> I agree. I'm with you. I was going to say right? 25. Yeah. 25 on the low end, but after that, you should have healed <laughs> healed some. Yeah. And then you can move on? Yeah. Then you can start years. seeing if you're compatible with people, I guess. Mm -hmm. And if you have kids, never. Because I'm in heaven watching. Yeah. 
you don't want to be called like a hoe from like the holy, like in heaven, like a holy. <laughs> like yo, yo, God, God, you see her wilding. Yo, God, come here, look at this. Come on, <laughs> God, come look at this. Look what she doing. I've been up here twenty two years, and look what she doing. Yeah, then God be like, hey, you want to bring up? Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm, not, I'm not even ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we ain't I, I, I can't face Anybody her. Anybody care yeah. about her no more? I can't, yeah. can't face her today. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had someone pass on you? No. That I was dating? Well, you don't date. I date. No, nah, never. Have you? Yeah, niggas told me about Maul up in Dumbo. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, they told you about me in Dumbo. Like, I get information about when Maul is outside, I just never say anything. <laughs> me and Dumbo I, I do too actually I haven't been Like Maul is a nasty nigga On the low Like we love you So we a, let you rock Dumbo? With your facade I've a few updates From people yeah, that I, I didn't even ask You're really a trash nigga <laughs> how, Wait how am I nasty First of all You live mad far From Dumbo We all do <laughs> I don't go there. <laughs> like, there's no, not one not, story Of Joe and Dumbo I don't go there often though. That was That was so long ago The last time I was there That was damn near The summertime Listen, the one and only son of Tony. Like, <laughs> I'm like, saying, what like, what I can I you, say to the son of Tony? I don't, but I wasn't being nasty in Dumbo, though. Well, in your I'm, defense. That's not even a place to be I'm nasty. Just, yeah, not, defense, no, what, no, no, Maul, you, you Maul get, get in his romance bag. At like, Soho, and that's I'm what not, you I'm pissing following. me off about. Dumbo house, you get a little nasty. You're romantic, my nigga. No, in Dumbo, it wasn't a romantic thing. It was a group of people all chilling. You can be romantic in a group. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can, but I wasn't. No, it wasn't, it, wasn't that, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. what the streets are saying on, on and Amazon and Google. <laughs> the streets are saying I'm in Dumbo getting nasty, being romantic. <laughs> it's no. on Amazon apparently. Yeah, that I'm being nasty in Dumbo. This nigga no. Maul is home changing his own Wikipedia to add some romance. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I Wikipedia. just thought it was funny that you drove that far to like have romance. And let me let me correct another error. Boy, you learn something new every day. So the fans informed me exactly why a picnic is bad, mm -hmm. <laughs> and like where it comes from. Mm -hmm. I never want to eat a sandwich again. Word. That's craziness. I knew it came from a crazy place. The word. Yeah, we we're, just, we're, we're just gonna eat in the house from now on. And no, no sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, sandwiches. We've been got that out of here. Like white people was just eating sandwiches while niggas. Was... <laughs> uh, I don't want no more sandwiches. Hit me either. Fuck. Burgers from here on out, fellas. And then somebody else on Is the it. burger not a, a sandwich? It's still a sandwich. No, Rory. We discussed this. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm just asking. <laughs> and then somebody else on Twitter, when I was all mad about that, tweeted, uh, damn, so where did the term master bedroom come from? You, about, you guys sleep in the living room now? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, like, yo, you know what? Fuck that room upstairs. No, I sleep in the living room anyway, because when you have a kid and like a girl that you love. <laughs> so you get your only hours in there? Like the second that you wake up, you you run the risk of waking them up, which ruins your whole life. <laughs> so when you wake up, you just gotta leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Easier to do from the living. One one thirty in the morning, I'm just in the streets driving around in somebody else's car because I ain't even got a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you just tell the Uber driver, yo, just drive around? No, she wake up, she wake up, think her car stolen. Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck my shit and my nigga? God right. damn it! Uh, all right, what else is there that's important? I don't think anything else is important. I'm still thinking about Jill Scott's performance, and I'm going to take Sin there and see what happens later that night. Oh, Maul also wanted to talk about the Chance, T.I., and Cardi show that I didn't want to tell you guys about. You're such an industry insider. No, I it's didn't Chance, T.I., and Cardi? Yeah. I so Maul wanted to tell y'all some shit that he don't even know what he talking about. I only, and I only read that it was Chance and Cardi. It's Chance, it's T.I., it's Cardi, it's a new show. Uh, it's on Netflix, right? On net, coming to Netflix soon about finding talent, you know, local talent. It's one of those star search show, shows. All right, man. I'll be honest with you. Be honest, Rory. I and love I, when Rory's honest. I support Cardi B wholeheartedly. I have on this podcast for Ooh, quite some time. Here comes some uh -oh. non-support. If I, if, if <laughs> I am an artist, support is yeah, coming. It's if, on the if, way. If, if, if I'm an artist and Cardi B tries to critique my music, I'm going to be highly upset. I can see that. Yeah. Why? I think she has talent. I think she knows how to deliver music very well. I think she has a good ear of what works for her. I'm not. I don't want someone judging me that doesn't write music who doesn't be involved in a process that's pretty narrow-minded nah that's kind of fair 
It, I don't think so. That's fair as fuck. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me. You can't have me on a show called Rhythm and Flow and you have no rhythm or flow. That's not true. She has rhythm. Because on have one, you, because on, on a know. show like oh. yeah, she, she has she, rhythm. She, she has a rap off. You, you've been the lost nigga. Knock it off. You ever, <laughs> you ever <laughs> seen Cardi perform? No. Okay. She has rhythm. I've seen her perform. She's she has rhythm better. when I've seen her perform. Getting better and having rhythm is two different things. You could be a bad performer and have rhythm. Okay. Well. Uh, Performances I've seen. Anyway, my she point because my, my point is not. She was even, on B every time I saw. It's not even. Yeah, I don't know what most talking about. A stripper with that's I'm not, not saying her dance. I don't know about her no dance. rhythm. I'm not a Grant, dance the critiquer. Grammys, the Grammys with Bruno Mars, she was nowhere near on rhythm. Her her moves, not her. Rhyme, uh, Coachella, like her she rhyme. was. Her, her Coachella performance was really well. Yeah, she, her vocals were always on point. In, when it life. comes to shows of this of this nature, I don't feel like the judges are just there to judge your talent and tell you how to uh, navigate with your talent. They're trying to tell you, I would assume, how to navigate through the music business. And Cardi, albeit not writing her rhymes, should have some intel about how to navigate through the music business, even if she's talking to some other people who don't necessarily write rhymes or, you know, are coming up the same way. In this era of music, you know, there's a bunch of different artists that specialize in different shit. Like, granted, she doesn't write, cool, cool. That doesn't mean she has nothing to offer in terms of how you could further your career. You're right about it. And they have the, I don't disagree uh, there. And if it's one of those shows where they've changed a little star shit where like they'll kind of manage and oversee the group, like I think LA Reed show did that for a while. That's cool. I think Cardi could definitely do that. But if you're if I'm sitting there performing and you'd be like, nah, that song is whack. What the fuck do you And want? I feel like <laughs> I don't I don't feel like you need to be able to create music to say whether a song is whack or not. Like, like no, y'all no, two I'm, don't make music, and y'all say whether when a song is whack, and people respect you guys' opinion because y'all know music, mm. not because no, y'all I, write I, music. I totally agree there, but if I'm on a panel with Chance and Ti and people that have, it means nothing. Chance is not going to say anything mean about anybody. And if he does, he's going to say it in a way to where we don't know it was mean. <laughs> That's Chance. Ti will be confused, and I don't want to sound like I'm <laughs> hating. You're, I'm hating. You're hating. I am. Yeah. I am. Ti will be confused about what? No, I'm saying we'll get people might get confused by the time Ti is finished talking because he used a whole bunch of big words. Oh yeah. <laughs> we don't know him to get up there and say, "Fam, your shit trash. You need to nah, probably try to go be a garbage yeah, man or some shit." He won't shit. use that verbiage. Yeah, don't be mad. Yeah. UPS is hiring. He's not gonna say that. No. Cardi is Cardi probably is the closest one up there to saying something like that. So that's where I counter Rory and Parks' point. Well, I don't. She think, has a she has a clear role. Negative. On no, 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 a no. panel, Cardi's not saying negative thing about anybody. No, 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 her role. She has a role on the panel, but and I understand did, what Rory, Rory was saying. It's, it's that's negative. What he's saying, he understood. You said if that the, is negative. If we're looking, <laughs> no, no, no. no I, said, look, I don't think Cardi's going to say. I don't think she's going to be the Simon Cowell where it's like, oh, that wasn't it. No, Cardi is going to be very uplifting the way she is and has been for the past three years. She's going to love everyone's shit. No way. I totally disagree with that. I think she's the closest one on that panel. To not love everyone, shit number one, and to broaden things for, past that, she's probably one of the more honest rappers that we have. Even if she doesn't rap, like write her rhymes, she's one of the people that has made a way on just telling you how she feels. She's definitely it unfiltered, above. which is yeah. valuable on a show. Like I that. think that's why she. I would assume well, yeah, that's, that's why it, she's that's, there. That's what all of the shit is about. It's about well, driving, don't think driving the that. ratings, driving the the views, and you know. Use Cardi is obviously one of the most popular people on the internet. I say I hate when major corporations don't listen to me. <laughs> I mean, I know that's some real arrogant shit to say, but sometimes these people just don't know. I'm surprised they didn't have and like a producer, uh, music business person there to offer. Um, they did. They had probably quite a few of them there. I'm and surprised they're not one of the chosen panelists or whatever. Though you surprised what? They're not a chosen like there should be a producer. Well, because their names are don't are not going to drive views. Yes, yeah, like that's, that. that's really what it is. Cardi, as soon as you see Cardi on a panel, people are going to watch it. They're going to look at it. The way that people choose to go about uh, garnishing, uh, getting views, is just different. It's just different. Right. Like they seem to be going with the names. I don't know how that release will be received because who knows how everybody feels about Chance, Cardi, and T.I. collectively doing. That's where a lot of these shows fail. Uh, there's some other shows that have failed that I won't talk about, but it's not that the concept is so bad. 
it's just there's no meat and potatoes. Right. Yeah, there should be someone up there. I got to watch the show to see where the meat. Like a record label person or a producer, I feel like, would be a valuable fourth person. To at least get, because of course you're going to get the regular people with those names, but to keep someone like us, and not to say we're better than anyone, but to get us more interested in that, yeah, I would like a producer or someone that's like really, really knowledgeable from a different perspective than Chance, T.I., and Cardi. Is it just another point of view there? Because those are all three rappers. Two, two, right. two similar of perspectives from the three. Yeah, and they're all just the rappers. So they're gonna at some point have a, a similar perspective on things than what a producer would have, or what an executive would have, or anyone that just sees things differently than someone that sits there, writes rhymes, and then spits them. Got it. Well, it is called rhythm and flow. So that that is true. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that it has something. It may it may be just a hip hop. Did it say in the article if it's going to be, they're just going to put the whole thing out, like the way they do most Netflix shows? Or is it going to come on weekly? Because I'm interested to see how that could work on Netflix. Um, it may, I don't know. if uh, It might be a weekly thing. Yeah, they've never done like a, a slow... I'd be curious to see how Netflix would do with that. Like a, I can see it being a Like it's, it's on it, it comes, it's uploaded at 6 p.m. Because this is obviously Tuesday. something that they're, they're trying something. I'm pretty this. sure that Netflix is going to put out, uh, they're not going to put them out episodically. It's going to be it's gonna a be set. Binge. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a binge watch type of thing, and they're going to uh, judge success based on that. How many of you watch this total package, not week to week? Hmm. All right. Do you think they'll ever do a, a split, like a network, you know, like a split it up, not all at once series of any sort? Because they haven't done that yet. Yeah. Right? I'm a little shocked they haven't Netflix? gotten in, yeah. into the talk show world which i'm sure they're netflix so i'm sure they are in the talk show world but to the degree like of a nightly talk show that it comes out on every single night at 6 p.m it's a different one it's not a binge watch situation it's just the the regular formula for a talk show or a news program or something of that nature where it's not a binge watch thing yeah but their model for success i can't see that being relevant to like i can't see how it behooves netflix to put something out week to week or I would only even, think that even nightly to try to get you. Well, yeah, and because they've mastered the, the binge-watching thing and they've really made TV obsolete in some case, why not go all the way <laughs> and really make people just, I'm just going to Netflix today. That's right. all I got to go to. Right. I get everything from here. Well, I think their metrics is showing them that people are doing that mm-hmm. now without them experimenting in that in that way. If you could get all the streams at once and a lot more time for people to stream whatever it is you're trying to serve them, that's their model. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. I just don't see. I just think if, if I, I don't wanted see how, to watch a, a talk show every night, once that talk show was done, I'd probably stay on their platform. They got some nigga up there with a beautiful set that they spent a lot of money on that does a talk show nightly this with okay. such and such a person that I've never clicked on in my life. That's just not where I want to see... That type of shit. Even the David Letterman shit, when he was sitting there talking to a bunch of people I deemed to be geniuses, I wasn't really into that either. Oh, no, that <clears> shit was dope. It wasn't... I only saw the one with Jay, I'm going to be honest. And the, He did a couple good ones. The Jay one was I saw a whole, so... I saw um, surface Howard Stern. Howard Stern. He did, he did Seinfeld too, didn't he, I think? I saw a few of them. But it wasn't... It wasn't like Dave from... It wasn't Dave. No. If this was like an older Dave... For sure. Like... Being that Dave, it wasn't Dave. Oh, well, he did Brock. That's what the other one was. Yeah, but to me, that was them experimenting. <laughs> yeah, and, and I felt like a lot of them were surfaced in the degree that it was people trying to get regular, like Middle America, to know who Jay Z was. It was just a surface bunch of shit we knew a lot with the Howard Stern one. I think too. I don't think I saw the Jerry Seinfeld. Howard one, but, was but Howard. It was, it See, was, and well, that's what told me that this this something was off here because if I'm looking at this shit with iconic Dave supposed to be next to all these iconic figures and everybody just in their icon bag. That's not what I received. I received, no. uh, I was shortchanged on the Dave and depending on his relationship with the artist depended on what I saw. Howard was Howard when he went. He's always going to fuck that. about Dave and fuck about this shit. What do you want to talk about? No, niggas. Howard, we doing this. Right. And that was awesome. Outside of that and the Hove one, 
No. Nah. <laughs> I just don't think you got very much information out of them. I just thought they were very surfaced and it was like reading a, a bio on Wikipedia. Well, we're, we're saying the same thing. I, <laughs> no, damn. I'm not disagreeing on, but agreeing with you. Maul, are you on This Is Us still? No. Nah. Me either. No. They lost you? I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know what's going on. I'm not rushing to watch the next episode. I'm still on a million little things. That content just is a bit more relatable to me and who I am in my story. Um, I just feel like This Is Us was so great when it came on. And once we found out how Jack died, the writers are struggling to come up with shit that's as compelling as when the show first started. And again, it's a lot of episodes per season. It's not like Power that's giving you 10 in a clip. This Is Us is 18 to 24 episodes a season. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm of mad them. stories with mad different characters in mad different times. Mm-hmm. They've just failed to keep my attention this season. Uh, this is the first time I've watched it in real time, so I'm still giving them a chance. Everything else I always binge watch, so you kind of lose man. some of the weaker episodes. You kind of just lose them because the next episode is crazy. Episode six of A Million Little Things when Shorty found her husband's suicide note. Oh, man, I cried for an hour. <laughs> just a great, great they're doing a great job over there. Not to say that they won't run into that same problem eventually. Right. But great problem to have. Uh, I think I've covered everything that I need to cover this week. I don't think uh, there's anything pressing. Maul might have some NBA insider with the uh, Draymond Green and KD disagreements. You care? You care about this? Uh, KD it, to the Knicks? Talk to me. Well, uh, yeah. I definitely think KD will be in New York. But um, I, it's just... I just don't the reason I don't understand it is because uh, y- y'all are winning. Y'all the best team in 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 the league. You know what I mean? So it's just for them to be not even 15 games in and you know fighting and arguing about stupid shit It's just like it's just confusing. There's definitely more there, you know what I'm saying? And I it's going to be interesting to watch the rest of this season, but I think they'll get past it. I just think it's just one of those things is one game and tempers got flared and things were said and now Draymond has to prove a point, sit out one game, and see if they can win without him, type of thing. Like, is that what's happening? Yeah, Draymond sat out. Um, he sat out. He said, you know, he. Oh come on! Basically, want to see? Okay, if y'all, if y'all got KD, y'all don't need me, type of thing. Wow. You know what I mean? Oh, this is how on, the world this empire is gonna crumble. I think it was gonna crumble soon, anyways. Yeah, but yeah. yeah this might. Yeah, KD has the, the rings now. He wants to go to a major market and get the supermax. And, you know, it's not about the championships no more for him after this season. Why are all these NBA analysts making it sound like we should put Philly in the conference finals because Jimmy Butler's there? You think about that for a minute. Why are you thinking about that? Tell me Melo not about to go to China and average 300 points. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 300 million. <laughs> no, I think, I think actually, I think Melo's going to go to Boston. I see. The thing about Melo is he's still effective. He's just... He should have never went to the Western Conference. That 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 pace is too fast for him. Is he needs to be you know isolated in, in in half court sets. That pace with Houston is too fast. He's not going. He's not going to flourish in that type of system. You think Boston's the right place for him? Well, they need a veteran. You know, it's funny. I'd love to see him in Philly. Right. That they, would make more sense to me. They need. They need a veteran in Boston. They need. You know, obviously they need scoring off the bench. I mean, you know. It's, they play that that Brad Stevens plays that type of system where a player like Melo can flourish. I don't see it. I feel like they yeah. already got a lot of players. In Brad there. Stevens does uh, the Princeton offense. I don't see how Melo goes in there. Uh, I think Melo works. He works better in Boston than he ever would have worked in Houston for sure. Oh, maybe outside of Philly, my my next landing spot for him would ironically be maybe the team that should have drafted him in the first place, the Pistons. The, yeah. the Pistons are still trying to play old basketball with Blake and uh and Drummond. Mm-hmm. They need somebody who can score on the perimeter. I just I don't think it would work for him over there only because Blake is is very selfish and and I, I don't I don't it's he, Melo's no, but, not gonna get the looks. No, nah, Melo can snuff him. <laughs> you don't think Melo would that's snuff a, Blake? That's an option. That's an option. Melo would snuff Blake. That's an option for sure. Yeah, I think so. I'd like to see it. Uh, but Jimmy Butler and the Sixers, you don't think? They definitely got better. It's definitely an, an upgrade for them. I just don't. I'm not this huge Jimmy Butler fan yet. 
I think he can play. He's he's a, he's a good player, but he's not Kawhi Leonard. I don't think he's a a franchise changing player. No. Got it. Got it. Uh, Savon, is there anything happening currently that we are missing? You say no without checking. Love you. <laughs> really love when you do that, man. Really lets me know we have the A1 podcast coming your way. <laughs> coming your way. Get the fuck out of here. The Trump Tower was on fire. There's nothing word, to talk about. Word. Oh. Respect me enough to at least look like you're checking. <laughs> Let's make a check before I ask. He's minority report, man. Yeah. <laughs> sure. How do you guys feel about uh, Waka's new way of looking at life? He wants to squash his beef with Gucci. Doesn't want to be in any, any more rap beef. Oh, that's Cap. That's Cap. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Cap is. I told you. I, I'm I don't with, know I where mean, Cap comes from. I mean, I'm with rappers not wanting no beefs and Me shit too. like that because it's it's just for what, man. You know what I mean? It's like why? Would, yeah. If there's no diss records, I could get yeah, less. And, and not only that, when you sit down and really think about what niggas be beefing about, it's like it's this never shit is stupid. Cool. It, it's stupid. It's stupid shit. So I understand if he's like, yo, you know what? This shit is dumb. It's not about nothing. Like I'm, I'm done with all this shit. I was thinking over the weekend when I was seeing Sway Lee's girl and all this shit. You know, women really keep hip hop together. <laughs> Honestly, like if women just decided to just talk to each other and really tell secrets, it'd be way more beef in hip hop. Oh, for sure. All, none of these niggas would be friends. Not a one at all. Not a one of them. Well, that's because they own crew. Yeah, you niggas are nasty. Y'all know what's going on. <laughs> well, 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 that that goes back to what we say. Shout like, out to women, man. Let me hit the round a lot of applause these, that. A um, lot of these rappers and entertainers and athletes, they frequent the same women. So everybody knows saying, everybody's man. business. It's like if you didn't if you don't do that, then it's harder for people to know your business when you don't have share the same women in common. Because we're not talking to the same women. Well, that's why I don't like that shit that uh Brittany Renner said, because that's just not accurate. And you know, men always get a bad rap for fucking um, easy women. But we never highlight the women that are indeed targeting athletes and uh, rappers. Like the old the old bathroom, the old bathroom pick. Well, the new bathroom pick is the pick of you and the family and friends section at the game. <laughs> mm. Only y'all women don't know that all of us know the section. <laughs> or 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 <laughs> y'all keep posting it like it's the exclusive shit. No, that's, nah, we, they, they've upgraded from that too, though, Joe. Because now it's if they're at a concert and they're right behind the soundboard. Oh, they're on the rise. But we peep riser. it. But yeah, we peep it. But but we, why we they don't act? We know. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just how. Listen, you gotta look for the clues, man. Jesus, you don't even really need to look for the clues. They just tell us. Dead yeah. in front of your fucking face, the clues. Oh, yeah, you're right. They just be telling us. Tapping you like, yo, you don't see me? I'm a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the yo, clue. I'm telling you how she is. Yeah. <laughs> and low key, what bothers me the most is they want people to comment and tell their business. Yeah, of course. It's all. They can't say it. it, it everything so is they for want a reaction. Someone in the comments to put it together so they don't Every, have to say it, but uh, everyone will see it. Everything is for a reaction. Everything. They 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 put pictures up in videos for exactly that. The impressions. Yeah, I seen a chick put a picture up at the football game the other day. I'm like, I've never seen you talk about the Broncos. Man, what sch- <laughs> <laughs> what like, scheme are they in right now? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking? Now you they, a Bronco fan, ma? They they they, they, they don't know. Who's now you got the Denver poncho. We or, even get the poncho. Or, <laughs> you're from, you're from Baltimore. Ain't even raining. Yeah. <laughs> No, they never know. These chicks are crazy, man. We, we, we got to sleep. I guess. I just Yo, so oh. is, are we putting the pusher thing to bed? We don't think that he had anything to do with that. that no, nah, of course shit. not. Yeah, once I saw nah, the video, I knew he didn't. I didn't believe that. that. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't believe that when I saw it. Well, After that conversation we had, he didn't seem like the nigga that was looking to keep the beef brewing. For yeah. Him. Yeah, no. Yeah, I seen that video and that shit flashed like What's real that? You got to be a really dumb visual guy to get hired for such a big festival to prove yourself and then do that dumb shit. No, niggas, yeah. niggas be fans. Niggas do things on their own accord trying to get some clout with whoever Trying to go viral. Yeah, yeah. Niggas got the viral virus. Oh, we ain't even talk about <laughs> Viral virus. <laughs> niggas got the viral viruses, man. I'm telling you. We ain't even talk about the R. Kelly singing vid that I didn't sing to, sing to Queen Jill when she called. <laughs> Keep talking to me. <laughs> Keep talking to me. 
But see, and, but see, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So when people be up outraged about his his antics with with young girls, but then look, women still at his shows wiping sweat off of him. Like no, those the, those the black aunts that everyone already already accused of going all R. Kelly shit and still supporting him. He wouldn't dare do that shit with no Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. He ain't but no. <laughs> nigga, the fuck, just sweaty ass the fuck out my face, nigga. No. <laughs> now wipe my tongue. <laughs> like, wipe your tongue won't get dry, nigga. <laughs> like, wipe your wipe tongue. Your tongue. You want cotton so mouth. Ass. You, know, that, yeah, <laughs> you want cotton you mouth parts? Yeah. yeah, I believe everything they said about you. On yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. You did all that shit. Wipe my tongue. Now wipe my tongue. Keep talking to me. Keep talking to me. That shit, that shit, man, that shit got. What your day was like? <laughs> Why are you looking, though? Don't look at me and sing that when shit. your man. next show, <laughs> I'm coming with sin. <laughs> we gonna watch that shit. I'm going too, though. I'm laughing. I'm definitely <laughs> definitely going to Jill Scott next show. Sure. That's a fact. <laughs> she did call you. Look, you spoke oh, to existence. Oh, she did call. I was, and I was circle. scared. I was scared when the queen called. God damn it. Why you scared? Because why she calling me? <laughs> Let's try to get me in trouble. I gotta go home, nigga. Sound all sensual and great. <laughs> she laughs. She writes. Fam, who is she? <laughs> we didn't ask that. We didn't have to ask. Who uh, is yeah, you she? Scott. She, she, was, she, was anybody here uncomfortable? No. Was it like a he too thing? I almost took my sneakers off. I was getting very yeah, comfortable. I almost took my drawers <laughs> <laughs> I was getting very comfortable. <laughs> nigga said he almost took his sneakers off. Word. Almost was here, butt ass. Like, yo, what's the next topic? <laughs> Jill had nigga in his vibe. Oh god, she oh. writes. Gross. She writes. Yo, and let me just tell the people: I never know the vibes when people say you know the vibes. But I love that line. And I don't think it should be retired in 2019. You know the vibes just just as the substitute for you know what it is. But I don't be That's knowing what it is. is when they say that. We don't know the vibes either. Then why do they say that? I want them to tell me the vibes. Well, you should, you should ask whenever they tell you. You're not in on the vibe if you don't feel it. It's just not your vibe. But they be telling me that I know the vibes already, so they make it feel like you can't even ask. Yeah, then you can't. They definitely can't ask. Nah. Like, yo, I know I'm supposed to know, but right. <laughs> what's the vibe right now? <laughs> you you got to leave. Like, yeah, like what are we doing? Let's play sleepers, man. I'm getting out of here. So I, so so I have a sleeper from some gentleman named Lucky Day. I have no idea who that is, but man, this shit is hard. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I'm I have no clue who the fuck Lucky Day is, what he does, who he signed to, where his project was from, who he works with. But huh. this is exactly why I love searching for music. It's exactly the premise when you did actually receive payola. Where that's only you that does <laughs> payola. You play all the niggas that do say books. I don't think I've ever played anyone that do say uh, books. I've seen do say with emotional oranges. <laughs> they was there? Yeah. That's crazy. And they have a new project out that you didn't plug because you whack and phony. They didn't get their emotional money. oranges? They no, they don't. Yes, they do. A whole project? No, they don't. Y- yes, they do. <laughs> They have an entire project coming out that Apple Com- Music coming out. You said it came out. Oh, I said I'm, no, I, I don't. <laughs> I misspoke. Oh, okay. well, it's coming soon. Apple, let me know. Um, uh, Spotify, let me know. Um, uh, last episode, I I had to report that Sway Lee's girlfriend was in fact done again. Mm-hmm. But God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> God will work for you mm-hmm. if you work for yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sway Lee's girlfriend is, in fact, back. She's not and done. And not done again. She's not done again. When are they done? It's like, for real. <laughs> oh, wait, that's misogynistic. <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't know. You read the definition see, earlier. See, people, we got to get clarity. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get clarity. I purchased Britney B's project when you played it. I'm that guy still. Oh, you purchased it just now? Just now. Yeah, Dope. I bought it. Dope. Um, everybody did a great job with the sleepers today. Cool. El Chapo was sentenced yesterday. We reported months ago that 
He promised not to kill any of the jurors' family members. What a good guy. Now, he didn't say anything about you jurors. <laughs> So they or have the judge so, or the prosecutor, so, and I just think it's fucked up. The judge is forcing people to juror. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> that shit. Yeah, I read one one lady started crying when they chose her. I think I know, and she tried to get out of it, and then the judge was like, "Nah, you juring." Yeah, you, you to the jury <laughs> jury duties. That's foul. Arrest me, fam. Word. How much time I gotta do? I'm keeping the family safe. <laughs> Word. If I Sa- safer as is Cody. Yeah, I want no beef with the one and only son of Tony. <laughs> I don't know why we thought that line was so ill when Pun said it. <laughs> Big Pun. I love Pun, but like. That was dope. That was Dream Shatter, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's bad. He was just killing too much. Yeah. <laughs> Any other little line? When you, when you uh, kill too much, you yeah. can sneak in like whatever. Just For rhyme sure. it. For Guy sure. was really yeah. good at rhyming words. Yeah, he was. We don't give Fat Joe enough credit. Yeah, I think no, we, we do. No, we don't. Does. No, we, we don't. do. Well, we do. Yeah, we yeah. do. Fat Joe in the game doesn't get. We had the end of the podcast. So I ain't even gonna talk about it right now. But I was looking at him at, at, at Remy's baby shower, and that's all I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like I had to stop staring at him because I was staring at him thinking that. <laughs> yeah, he definitely doesn't get the the praise that he deserves for sure. For, for like, go to a Fat Joe show. Thirty years yeah. <laughs> hits. Yeah. 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 That's shout nuts. Out. Yeah, shout out to Fat Joe. Yeah. Shout out to Fat Joe. Um, so that's our show for today. I'm gonna go home and plan something special to do for the two hundredth episode. Uh until then, we bid you adieu. Keep us in your prayers. God knows we need to be there. I'll talk to you guys at a later date. One.